Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody, huh? We got a special, special, special guest. Yeah, capital letter special. Tommy Thanks. Guerrero is here. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, guys. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Dude, for totally. sure. thank you for coming, dude. Let me ask a quick question. Okay, of course. Where does the Nine Club come from? I have not oh, heard that information. That's a good oh, question. Oh, a lot of people always ask <laughs> us that. Huh? Right, out the, right out of the gate? Yeah. Well, there's, uh, right. there's a couple, you know, if you're a skateboarder, you you, you know, and you watch uh, events on television, <laughs> you, might, uh, you might guess where we got it from, you know? Oh, okay. Oh. And also, it sounds like a television. It sounds like a show, right? The Nine Club. Yeah, but it, it sounds like uh, whenever you have club involved, oh, yeah. it, it takes it to another place, yeah. you know? Well, this is, you're in the club. <laughs> like, this, is, yeah. this is like the Mickey Mouse Club for skateboarders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Pretty much. But the Nine Club. Yeah. There's only so many people that get, on, get oh, in the Nine Club. Only yeah. so many brain cells. Left. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming down, too. Uh, Ubered all the way down from SF for yeah. us. That's a yeah, I great, did. man. I actually lifted. You, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you're a lift yeah. guy. I'm a lift Okay. Guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let Raj will pay you back for the uh, for the, for the fare. Yeah, yeah. That's, know? that's yeah. only six grand. <laughs> yeah. And you got to go back, too. No problem. Oh, he's yeah, going to go back. Yeah, yeah. Round trip. You're on your own for going back. I'm not moving here. Kelly will get you Greyhound ticket. I could, do that. I could easily do that. Could you imagine? <laughs> Excellent. Have you ever taken the Greyhound uh, back and forth? Uh, I have not. No. No. Okay. No, no, no. No. The first time I've ever been on a plane and uh, was my very first contest for Powell. As, oh, seriously? As a sponsored amateur. Where'd you fly to? I can't. Maybe Oceanside. Something oh, like okay. that. I can't remember. Oh, how old were you when you flew? Like 62. 60. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're about 130 now, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I don't. I don't know. I was with Mofo and Eric Swenson. Actually. Oh wow! Yeah, my first flight. Okay. And uh, we went. We went to this contest, and it was. It was one of the after maybe, maybe the third street street style contest, perhaps. Or, oh wow! Um, and uh, Stevie was on tour with the faction, and so he showed up like. You know, just fresh off tour and borrowed my board and won the contest. Seriously, really? yeah, totally. Wow. That's pretty sick. <laughs> That's amazing. That's how ratty is. He just popped <laughs> out of a band, like you know, full of musicians. Like, well, let me see your board, Tommy, and fucking destroyed. Killed it. it. Wow. Yeah, wow. wow. I was still amateur, and and so it was. It was so rad. How did was, you? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I won. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> dude. Street like hazards, and you know, like flip the board like with the hand. Come on. Hey, listen, man. You know, hot in the streets. I, I love it. No, it was it was rad. That was the first contest where I've ever seen I ever seen Mark actually. Mark Gonzalez. Oh my god, crazy. Wow. People had no fucking idea what was going on. Really? Seriously. Oh yeah. What? How? Incredible. How are you? How did you react to uh, it? Same, same thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what the fuck? He, there was a, you know one of those huge uh, like tractor tires. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was awling over it and like just cracking right over it, no problem. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Those are big. They're yeah. huge. Yeah. Are you on this flat? is like 1746. This is like poor electricity. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, like we rode in on horseback. Right. You know, this is a long time ago, for real. So, yeah, it was, it was fucking mind blowing. It was. Wow. And, and he, um, his trucks, he had two bolts on each, on each truck. Okay. And it was just like, dude. You need some hardware. And he's like, and I'm like, ah, oh, you need a wrench. You need a three eighths. And he's like, what's that? And I'm like, three eighths? No like, idea. Yeah, no idea. I'm like, that's the size of the bolt. I'm like, oh. And so I think I helped him get one and tighten his trucks down, you know, because really? there was two bolts in there just flopping around. Didn't he used to like dig through um, sure grips? Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. sure grip. Yeah, yeah. The first time, the second time I see him, he was riding two different trucks. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, and he were at, in Venice, right? Okay. Up and down the block, you yeah. know, where the ramps were. Yeah, by big. the graffiti pits. And he was alling up to the ledges, backside alley oop alley to pivots. Wow, and this what? is, and it was at a freestyle contest, okay. and I was in a free. I used to freestyle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. You did freestyle bike too, right? I did freestyle everything. <laughs> freestyle, street style, fuck, flow style, yeah, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> you style. name it, whatever. <laughs> no style. <laughs> what? I'll do it all. I'm a jerk of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> but why the why the the, uh, the street? Why not? Because at the time it was it was ramps and all this stuff. Yeah. Well, I you know I was uh, grew up skating skate parks in the in the late seventies when they first started to pop up around the Bay Area, mm -hmm. around NorCal, um, and it was me and my brother and Bryce Knights and mm. and then a crew of other friends and uh, that used to go. It's about an hour south, you know, like near San Jose. Okay. Like Winchester Skate Park, Campbell, like down that way. And we'd take the bus to the BART, to the bus, 
to skate. So oh, it would wow. take Damn. us two plus hours, two and a half hours to get there, um, you know, skate all day and, mm-hmm. and then try to hustle it back. But then the skate park closed, right? Um, and it was 80, 81, mm-hmm. somewhere around mm-hmm. there. And, um, you know, we, we grew up street skating. You know, that was our first thing, growing up uh, bombing the hills of okay. 9th Avenue. Oh, yeah, wow. That was, yeah. that was our skate park. It was like a mile and a half of hills just cruising down the hills. And Sick. that was like 70 six and 77 okay um but uh, so all the parks close and you're like oh well i'm, I'm not going to quit skating i go what what yeah how, how do you quit skating you're a kid like, totally. I love it. like i love this shit like i'm gonna go fucking fall down the hill right like whatever you're gonna use whatever's in front of you whatever right? whatever it takes and so you know people would would uh build little ramps here and there and you know up in the up in uh, the parks and stuff like secret little ramps that would last for a little bit um but no one had a car. I never had a car. My brother mm. didn't. My mother never drove. Oh, wow. So, and when BK got his license, that one, that's when kind of a lot of things changed. And he was like, he drove everyone around I to see. skate spots. But until then, we were just street kids, you know. Okay. Just, just skating the streets. Um, and a lot of it was to get, you know, A to B, right. to school, et cetera. Okay. Whatever. But that, that just nurtured a specific style of skating because, you know, the environment of San Francisco, right? Totally. Geographically, it's just nothing but hills. You can't. You can't get anywhere without going down a hill. Right. Hill. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, or up so, the hill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. So, <laughs> so you're not going to carry your board down the fucking hill. Yeah. You're going to bomb it. Yeah. You're just going to skate it. But yeah. see, that's the thing. I didn't bomb hills. I wasn't mm. like, that wasn't my thing. <laughs> no. I, I love skating the the sidewalks and taking all the fucking nooks and crannies and all the yeah. driveways yeah. and all that stuff. I love that stuff. Sick. That's the way I approached it. And so when like the hill bombing thing came in a little later, um, you know, I was a little perplexed because I wasn't out after speed. Like, I'm not a, an adrenaline guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to, you know, I, I don't, I've never fucking snowboarded. I hate the snow. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I don't swim. So I'm never, I don't, so I never surfed, you know. I'm not okay. like looking for these adrenaline rushes. And it's like, right. It has nothing to do with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to, you know. You, I just, you're just trying to get your roll up. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I love, yeah. you know, I love the feel of skating. I love feeling connected, like, to the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and the things around you and being in touch. And, and I love that. Um, so, so skate parks closed, mm-hmm. we hit the streets again. Yeah. And then, and then that happened all over, all the parks closed. Yeah. And so the, those cats who were mainly bowl skaters or vert skaters just sort of gave up, gave up, um, and didn't have what we had access to, to some degree, mm-hmm. you know, directly mm-hmm. in the city and in the Bay. Right. And so that just kept us going kept the stoke kept the fire going because it was just it's endless you know going to san francisco it's endless oh my god yeah, yeah. Well, then everything with the well security now is like a huge thing everywhere yeah. was security a big thing back there were it, they kicking it, you out it was yeah yeah totally it's i always, mean we did the video the real video kicked out of everywhere oh, yeah, and that yeah. just stems from literally being kicked out of everywhere <laughs> <laughs> you know because you would you would get in you'd hit just like any one hit you're like and that's and that's and that's the thing about back then with skating was when if any of it was filmed, if there was any videos being made, we had like my last power part, I think was like a four hour shoot. That's insane. <laughs> really? Yeah, maybe. And then the one, the one. Was that ban this? Uh, maybe ban this. There okay. was the one when the earthquake hit, Loma Prieta. Oh, when we were yeah. skating Fort Mason, me, me and Jim and, and I think maybe Mickey and the earthquake hit. Wow. And I had filmed a little the day prior and a little that day and that was it. That was, uh, that that was, was my, it. That was my part. So, wow. you know, so we didn't it's like have doing like uh, an Instagram clip nowadays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we didn't have even a week. We yeah. didn't. None of that. The only, when it changed was Animal Chin. Right. That oh. was the whole that was a whole shift is where it's like, oh, you're we're going to do this for a few months. OK. Right. And make something out of it. But, you know, the first one, Future Primitive, was just that day. Like we just cruised around and that was just what. And did you know, like what to expect out of that video? Or oh, you no, were just, of course no, not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like not they, didn't, at all. they didn't show you anything. They just, no, they just no. filmed you. And then that was it. Then. The, oh, yeah and you would if you would get one attempt you'd make it and they're like yeah that's good enough you're like oh my foot was kind of sketchy they're like nah on to the next you know Just moving on like let's go and you're like uh, all right <laughs> <laughs> who was fil- uh, stacy was filming yeah, stacy and then there were times when his his friend i can't remember maybe robert he was on roller skates Oh, and he wow. would and he would follow us. Oh wow! Would he yeah, follow yeah. the hills on roller skates? He would. Jeez. He <laughs> ate shit once like there was one time he was following me he just ate shit and i was like oh i just felt bad you know Wow. And the cameras back then, it's like this huge... Yeah, he had like a backpack. For yeah, a huge beast of a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. But he would follow me on roller skates, and I was I was pretty impressed. That's insane. Yeah, flying down the hills. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> so anyway, skate parks closed. We're yeah. Back, we're back to the streets. Right. And then skate... And then all the parks closed, so everybody who stuck with it started skating. Thrasher Magazine started, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, there was... Mm-hmm. When it was dead. 
And it just started to progress and build from there. And and it was really, I think, Fausto and Stacey's kind of idea with like the street contest. Okay. Um, you know, set up a few ramps because they, cause I've known Fausto. I knew Fausto and Eric Swenson before they even started Indy Trucks. They, mm. When they were doing Stroker, Stroker. Yeah. you know, the mm. crazy wild uh, truck that was built off of like a car suspension, like independent steering, like springs and mm-hmm. shit. Oh, wow. It was a huge beast of a truck. Were you yeah. riding those trucks no, too? My, no. My brother was, though. They gave him a set because oh. my brother ripped. Okay. Um. And so I've known, I knew them when I think I was 10 because they operated out of this bike shop that sold skateboards oh. down in the avenues. And so I met them when I was like 10. Wow. Yeah. So that's how, like, when we started real and everything, it just made sense. I'm like, I've known these guys. I've been riding for Indy since literally the first truck, production yeah. truck. And that's so crazy. It just wow. made sense. So when skateboarding started to happen again, streets started coming up. Um, those guys really orchestrated, like, ah, oh, let's do these goofy little contests in the streets. Well, put out some parking blocks, yeah. make those little fucked up ramps. Yeah, right. Like banks that, that imitated driveways that we were skating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it just took off from there. It's funny how everything kind of fell into place. You know what I mean? Like you were doing the street and then the the, the ramps it's, and this. It's, like, it's, it's timing. It's I crazy. Mean, so much of life is about timing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Right place, right time. And that's what and that's what it was, you know? And Stacy seen me at the second street contest. I was actually at Joe Lopes the, the day before the second street contest in Golden Gate Park. Uh-huh. And we're at Joe Lopes ramp skating. And um, Stacy was there. Um, everyone was there before the contest. And, mm-hmm. he, and he, you know, I, I slammed really hard. And so me and my buddy went and got like a 12 pack and we'd, you'd sit on the roof and watch everyone <laughs> skate in the garage. And I and we're sitting there and he comes, hey, man, I really like the way you skate. And I'm skating for, at, you know. Okay. But I, I grew up skating everything. Oh, gotcha. So uh, I was like looking around like, are you, are, are you talking to me? <laughs> like, who the fuck are you talking to? He's like, yeah, yeah. I, I dig the way you skate. And I'm like. Uh, <laughs> killed the brain cells. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. I had met him in, at Fort Mason, San Francisco. There was a contest, I think it was 76. Okay. Or 77. And he was there. And he was in the, he was, you know, the 360s with the long hair. Yep. Like that iconic photograph. Right, right. right. It was like, that, that's that guy from the magazine, you know, because oh. me and my brother didn't have access to many, to much. Okay. You know? um, so we would get hand me down second uh, skateboarder mags. Mm. And, you know, he'd sit there and go through and go, whoa, and trip and trip out. Right. So when I, you know, when we seen him, it was like, whoa. And I met him. Oh, Cause I, back then I freestyled and I could do a bunch of 360s. So I'm spinning a bunch of 360s. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, that was rad. Yeah. And I told him, I'm like, dude, <laughs> I met you like X amount of years ago. And you said the same thing to me. Like, so. It was in the, kind of it was in the stars. No way, it's kind of bizarre. And uh, did, was that because were you on? You were on Madrid, right? Your first sponsor yeah. was uh, my, my first sponsor. Wow, it goes way back. It was actually a lot of flex, which is a skateboard team from Northern California, oh. and and they made they made Jeff Sands, who's a fucking genius, who makes the most insane shit now. I'll, I'll run down it, but he made these trucks called Blades. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Mm-hmm. I'll send you guys a photo. Yeah, and, yeah. And there was it was before the idea of Copers. There was, um, a, the way the back of the truck came up, it was like a shield, a cover that covered the axle. Okay. And it, and it was uh, attached by an Allen bolt. And you can take it off once you ground it down and replace it. So it was like oh. a plate? Yeah. yeah. It was huh. like a plate, but, you know, an idea of a coper, yeah. basically. Plastic? Yeah. No, no. It was it metal. was metal. So you could replace, so you could grind it down, replace okay. the truck, and kind of have a new truck. Interesting. And, um... So he made these trucks and then he started making boards. He was making metal boards first and then he was making wood boards based out of Berkeley. Okay. So we met these guys in Alameda Skate Park when it first opened up in 77, I think. I think it was the first Bay Area skate park. Okay. Maybe, yeah, in Bay Area proper, not Santa Cruz, not Derby. Maybe Derby's, I think, the first. Oh, gotcha. So anyway, the skate park opened. We went there, me and my brother and BK and, and Joe Fong and, and some other friends. Um that was our local spot. And uh, the A Lot of Flex team were like local pros. And it was Tim Marting who invented the rock and roll. Oh. And Chris and Chris, Dave and Anthony Fisher and uh, Paco Prieto. And these guys were just the best skaters. Uh, the best. Like, and they would show up at the Winchester contest. And everyone's like, fuck. You know. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Right. Tim, Tim Marting <laughs> won one of them, you know. He invented the rock and roll. It's That's like, insane. So we skated for that team. Um early on and, and then that kind of defunct mm. when the 80s came along and then i would skate we just skated for a skate shop you know, okay yeah, yeah spot yeah. and to flow us some stuff or you know hook, help us out for um, sure and then and then madrid happened because i met uh chuck trees and graholsky i think at del mar and um they hooked me up they got me on madrid 
And so I was riding for Madrid for a little bit uh, before Powell. But the funny thing about Madrid was they wanted me to send the boards back under the guise of trying to figure out like how they were wearing. You know? R&D. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little, yeah, some R&D. Yeah. Wait, well, like, where was Madrid suit? based right. out of? Down here. Down here. So you like, had to ship the boards. Oh, I, I've never even sent a fucking letter at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm sending a board back? I was like, here's straight trip. And I'm gonna, I didn't even, where I'm, would you go to I'm do that? I'm selling like, that to my buddy yeah, for yeah, five yeah. bucks and I'm going to get a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't sending that shit back. <laughs> Send you a photo of it. Oh, That's man. funny that they wanted the whole, they wanted to see yeah. what was going on with yeah, them. Yeah, you know? I mean, in, in theory, you know. Right. Like that That was, right. Maybe they wanted them oh. back so they could sell them. They, they wanted them back. <laughs> they wanted them back probably to, them? Real, to make sure we weren't selling stuff. Oh. Is what I think it was. Interesting. Right? Okay. But, oh. I, but they were really cool. It, you know, yeah. they, they, it was great. Right. I, I loved it. It was totally, it was great. Did they get mad at you for not sending them back? No. <laughs> it was, and it was too short of a window okay. like, to really know what was going on. They didn't, they didn't, since I was up north, right. they were down there. They never came up and kind of seen what was happening, like what was building. Okay. So I think it just went right over right their head. Uh-huh. And then Stacy swooped in and that was that. How, well, how long were huh. you, how long would a board last you back then? You know, to be honest, those boards were I don't know what they were made of. They were beasts, uh, they, though, right? They weren't, like, they weren't the best made boards. No. <laughs> so they, were, they delammed really quickly. Oh, got you. Yeah. They're cheap on the glue? Yeah, perhaps oh. they're like, ah, that's enough. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Use Elmer's. Little Elmer's, yeah. you know, a little glue stick. Yeah. The glue sticks. They send you a glue stick with the board. Right, like a, right. Like a package. You're like, all right, cool. The board and, a, and a drawing in crayon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some little touch-up paint. Yeah, right. the board's fine. So Stacey swooped in and grabbed yeah. you. Yeah, he asked my brother, actually. He spoke to my brother and said, hey, I, you know, I'm thinking about you know, asking your brother to ride for Pal. Oh. And, and what do you think? And then Tony told me after, and I thought he was... You know, just give me shit. Right. Like big brothers do. Okay. And, uh, and was your brother jealous? I was going to say, because he ripped, right? I, oh, yeah. My brother's it was, he was better than all of us. Oh, wow. Yeah. By far. He was, we called him the Jay Adams of like NorCal. Oh, okay. Because he was fucking like, he is crazy. He was doing, <laughs> we built this ramp in my backyard when we had a backyard. It was crazy. It was two four by eight sheets like this. Okay. And, and then it's an extension, you know, like a tooth in the middle. And he had gotten his Z Flex board. It took like three months and he finally got it. Uh-huh. And he was doing Ollie's off the extension back into the ramp, you know? Oh, wow. did, it was before we knew what ollies were, you know? So he didn't get, he, was he jealous that he, uh, that you got asked I or? I think Was so. he sponsored? Did he get it? Yeah, he was, we were always like, kind of, he wasn't on Madrid or anything, but we were sponsored together when the, a lot of Flex team and, mm-hmm. and he was on Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz gave him a bunch of stuff. He almost wow. got aboard on Santa Cruz and okay. I don't know what happened. Oh. How much older is he? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Okay. Yeah. So how did Stacy so, swoop in? Did he? He he talked to Tony. He talked to my brother, oh, yeah. and then and then you know, and it went from there. And he actually called my mom, talked to my mom, talked you know. to your mom. Yeah. Made sure. How yeah. old were you? Like sixteen or something? I think I was thirty eight. Thirty. <laughs> thirty eight. <laughs> Somewhere around, you know, approximately. Late bloomer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know. Right. Started yeah. skating yeah. late. Okay. Yeah. No, I yeah. did. I, I'm a late bloomer. Like with, with fucking everything. So you know, I got another 60, 70 years to figure this out. It's funny that he called your mom and made sure. What was he calling just to make sure that you know? He just wanted to make sure that you know, like letting her know, like because if you think about it in context, you have this twenty-something-year-old guy, like. Wanting to put this kid on your team and try and go right. travel and yeah. what you know yeah, it sounds totally. weird. Yeah. Totally. I mean, in, in nowadays it sounds weird to us. Yeah. Because we're so fucked up. Right. You know, and that's it's it really unfortunate. That's that's the first thing we where our minds yeah. go. Yeah. Totally. Right. It's, right. And it's unfortunate. Yeah. Because ninety nine percent of the time it's not true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. So anyway, so he he's just a proper person. He goes by the book. Sick. You know, and <clears throat> my mom's super cool. So um, it just it just started there, and um, yeah, it was it was we called it the dream team. Yeah, you know, and yeah. it was like wow, the dream team. It was, it was. And if yeah. you if you notice on the cover of my my first Thrasher cover, uh-huh. I'm riding the Powell Freestyle wheels. Oh, was that like I'm riding a Madrid board with the Powell Freestyle? Wheels. Oh, so wow. that was the transition because because Stacy also he was like I don't want to just you know undermine those dudes completely oh, so it was a little okay. bit of a transition like you know a little, right. little waiting like i quit madrid and was kind of like 
I waited. He didn't want to steal bit. you. Well, not not com- he did. Not overnight. Of course he did. But, <laughs> right. But, yeah. but I think not he, so blatant. He wanted yeah. Yeah, yeah be a little more gentleman gentlemanly yeah. about it to yeah. some degree. Which is which is cool. Yeah. yeah so I, like I think that. they sent me some wheels. So that's how I was riding the wheels. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they send you a sticker and they put the sticker on. Right. <laughs> did you eventually have to call Madrid and tell him? Like, yeah. Yeah. I did. You did. Yeah. I let him okay. Know. So Bones Brigade. Um, there was was it the Bones Brigade when you first got on, or did that? Kinda, yeah, because yeah, it was started. the Bones Brigade video show, and that was the yeah. first one with got Lance. You. Is okay. like I watch it, I can watch it th- to this day, and I'm like, it makes me want to go skate. Yeah, it's the best part ever. Yeah, hands down, just cruising around. Ah, oh, it's just Lance being goofy and having fun. Yeah, right. What is better than that? So, that skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, oh, crazy, totally. So, um, so the, the whole Bones Brigade thing came a little, just a little later. You know, it was it was, it okay. was an idea, right? Right. Um that kind of Stesic kind of came up with and, oh, okay. and they just kind of marketing. figured it out together. Yes, it's totally marketing. Yeah. It was genius. Right. Yeah, at that time. And to make videos around it. I mean, the whole thing was, yeah. was new. Well, because it was great. The, the, your first video, with Future Primitive, was that yeah. uh Yeah. How, how long did that take to film? Because you said the other Four ones hours. took like... Like 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, around there. It, it was seriously was just, we went out for the day to all the spots that I, I skate. Wow. And that was it. That was it. Yeah, that was it. What a crazy thing, huh? Yeah. Raj would have well, loved I mean, it back, back then. then. <laughs> back then though too, like they probably had to rent yeah. those cameras and everything else. It's probably expensive. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, I didn't sure even think about that. That's How long were you on PAL for? I mean, you did like what, four videos with them? I don't know. You guys would know better than I would. Raj? Like mid eighties to like, 90? 90, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because the first real ad of skating, I think my my first uh, ollieing the bench at Chinatown. Oh, yeah. I'm riding my last Powell board. Real with some real wheels? Real didn't have, <laughs> real didn't have, no, no, with a real t shirt. That's all oh, we oh, had. Okay. <laughs> we didn't even have boards. No so, boards yet. No boards. Like, oh look at that gosh. photo, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's an Iron Gate board. You're like, that's hilarious. Oh, wow. wow. We didn't have shit. Well, I mean, how did the whole conversation come? Because it was you and Jim, right? You quit. You, we, me and Jim had always talked about wanting to do something together. That's okay. why he rode for Powell. And mm-hmm. then they weren't, and then it's, you know, there was, you know how shit is politics on teams, right? Like there's other guys in line and, mm-hmm. and Jim was, you know, wanting to turn pro and mm-hmm. it wasn't really. Were you pro already? Yeah. You were pro. And I was flowing gym boards like for oh. a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you, t- you turned pro at the same time as Mark Gonzalez, right? Yeah, at 80, a contest? 85. Yeah. May 5th. Just passed. May 5th, wow. 33 years Cinco ago. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Yo Mama. Cinco de <laughs> <laughs> was it weird um, turning and pro at the same? Mark just sent me, he was he sent me a text that day and he made this little edit of like the the, the contest footage that he found of oh, us. And wow. he's like, yeah. And he's like, Tommy, check it out. I don't know if it's stupid or not, but I made this. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. When you turned pro together, was it like, because you were on separate companies. Yeah. Was it a weird well, thing doing... So, so we both turned pro that day in SAC. He had his board. He already had his oh, really? board. Yeah. Oh. He did. It took a year for my board to come out. I didn't get paid as a pro for an entire year. <laughs> a whole got, year. And I got a $500 bonus. Like at the end of like the year Christmas, for Christmas. bonus? Yeah. Why, why, yeah. why did it take a year? Is it, uh, that's just how slow it was or? It was, it's a massive company and yeah. I, I don't, I don't know why it took so far. Were you long. like, what the hell? Where's my board? Or were you just, uh, were you no, patient? No, I mean, I was patient. Okay. You know, I worked at the skate shop and I knew when, once my board dropped, I was like, I quit. You quit. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it just, it, in, if you think about it, this day and age, a pro waiting for a year to get the board out it's and crazy. not getting paid. It's crazy. crazy. It's like, what? Yeah. What? You would have lost that dude right away. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. And th- so the only way I could make money was contests. And so that's why I try to enter every fucking contest I could. <laughs> oh, wow. So when I got my first pal check, I moved out. And oh, you I, did? And I slept on my friend's floor. And with my first pal check, instead of buying um, a mattress, I bought a four track and a drum machine. <laughs> That was it. That was it. And I slept on the floor. Because yeah. you were already into music by yeah. that point. Yeah. I was, I've been playing music with my brother and, and Bryce. We were in a band together really early on. Okay. Around, we started around 78, 79. Oh. And, um, and then, no, you know, I've never stopped. Did it you ever good. help like uh, do any of the music for like any of the Paul videos? Didn't. No? No. It was... Um, Paul, Chuck, Therese. And it was, yeah, Chuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I always asked Chuck, you know, them, I wanted Chuck to do my parts. All right. Yeah. Was the best. Wow. So so anyway, um, yeah. So I didn't get paid for that entire year of being a pro- professional skateboarder. Oh my god. And then, uh, yeah, and then my board came out, and and George didn't like the first graphic, you know, because it was conceptualized by uh, Kevin Ansel. He started because I wanted it kind of had like a low rider theme, you know, okay. with the roses around the side. And Wasn't it supposed to be like a hot rider? Yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. Oh, because me and Mofo actually started it. Mofo actually had an original drawing and and uh, art. 
Oh. He act, we actually started to get the mo, and it's it's um, it was the front grill of of a hot rod. Okay, it was like a street machine. It had flames going back, and it was the front of the grill and had the V eight. So it was just completely diminished from the grill. That it was the center of the grill that came up like that created the knife in the V eight. Oh, and, and the, where the handles came out, you mm-hmm. know. And why didn't George so, like that? He didn't. He didn't well, he, like they the didn't concepts. like the first one, no. and then and then the second one. He was. I don't know how it got through, but I think he was away or something, and Stacy kind of pushed it through. Okay, and then he didn't like it because I think it didn't. You know, um, it wasn't the iconic style of you know court. Right, no, it didn't fit the it, bill. Yeah, which which makes sense. I, yeah, you know, I was like, it makes sense. I back then I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, right, but. You know, uh, worked out for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know that that board. Everyone. I mean, you know, see people get tattoos of it, and I'm like, just yeah. please don't fucking put my name on your body. <laughs> please. What an honor, though. If yeah, somebody yeah, does yeah. that. Though. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Unless your yeah. last name's Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, that's no, true. Not an honor. No. To have my name on someone else's. <laughs> Why? Body. What do you? Because that's retarded. Come on. But <laughs> oh, then, I, I mean, that's a is. fan. That's a fan. No, I no. That's a, that's that's. It that's they got they got problems. Tommy, I have it tattooed on my <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> it means warrior in Spanish. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, no, I just think it's odd. I think yeah. I think it would be odd. Any to get anyone's name on your okay. on you forever is right. just, strange. And then you know, having it be your name, like ah, yeah. But I, but people do the art, which is which is cool. Yeah, but you you've know. seen people have sent you photos. Yeah, of yeah. It. yeah, 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 totally. And a lot of people do them like uh, kind of hybrids of all the um, you know bones dudes, mm-hmm. and so that it's kind of neat. And you know, I mean, it's like wow, they're hardcore fan hardcore yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm waiting for somebody to have a roberts tattoo but you know it's kind i don't of, think it, i don't know if i don't know, I don't know. what would it be well one of my old board graphics or something i don't know it would like, be like uh, you sitting here with the with the headphones oh, on be, in the oh mic <laughs> that's a little that's a little extreme <laughs> see that's more than on just back. my name yeah well you know Kelly said he's going to go after the show and get the, uh, get yeah. the graphic mother's day we'll get a tattoo of chris yeah under under his eye that's really thoughtful Face tattoos Probably. are big right now. Are any of you, know? you guys moms? No, oh, no. Okay. Making sure I'm not taken away from your special time. You are actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Men, can, men can never be moms. They're too fucking weak. I know. <laughs> but then there's Father's no Day too. So everybody's got their own thing. I used to say to my mom, Father's like, day. there's Father's Day, there's Mother's Day. What about Children's Day? And she said, every day is Children's Day. Oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. I have a 14 year old. And so it's every day. Is every his, day is his, his day. Yeah. Yes, yeah. completely. <laughs> it's funny. I always forget about father's day because i i didn't grow up with a father and so i'm always oh. like father like oh right that's so weird <laughs> okay is it weird now that your kid um do you have one one child yeah one child is it yeah. weird now that he uh does it's, father's day for you is it a weird thing it's it's just strange yeah yeah it's strange that anyone let me be a father for a <laughs> <laughs> you know and a kid raising a kid yeah it's like fuck um but it's it's just yeah it's it's really foreign to me yeah Wow. And I didn't grow up with it, so Crazy. it's it's pretty wild. Okay, but it's okay. it's a t- we just hang out. We don't. It's That's great. Though. Yeah, yeah. And we hang out all the time. He's great. Perfect. Um. So anyway, going back to the yes. the, the pro thing, right? Yes. I turned pro, nineteen eighty five. Mm-hmm. I didn't have my board. I got my board. And that's when it was on. That's when, like, it was it was fucking on. Wow. So how yeah. long? Did you start rolling in? Yeah, I got my first check, and you know, I, I literally bought the four track drum machine and okay. paid paid rent, moved out of my mom's house, and my brother was still there, and had, you know, I think oh, he was pissed. God. <laughs> oh yeah, younger brother moves yeah, out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so, um, and and it just it just went from there. The start, the traveling, the tours, okay. the demos, and all that. You right. know. And, the thing is, um, there was a point in time when we had to sign a contract stating we would do no less than 36 demos a year. Whoa. 36 yeah. demo. I mean, what? 365 days is 36 doesn't sound like a lot, but, 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 but it's, yeah. that's but it's a lot. all crammed into summer. Gotcha. And, what? and then sporadically throughout, back right? Back, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, that's when everything's happening, yeah, right? Yeah. That's when they're out of school. So it was just like oh bang, 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 bang on the road 24 7. I was gone. And then we did a lot of traveling too all throughout the year. So I was gone half the year for sure. And um, I remember you guys came to Boston in like 88 and you guys were driving around in a van that you guys had like tagged up. Oh, yeah. Like crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> we, the, <laughs> When it first started, we, we took out George's, like, Country Squire, you know, like a wagon. Okay. Like, with, like, Formica siding, that kind of stuff. You know, wow. like, family wagon. Right. And had Chris a Wolf. jump ramp on top, the big-ass jump ramp on the top of this thing. It was like a s- giant spoiler. <laughs> you know, it was, <laughs> it was, and we were, we were driving that thing around all over this country, and it was, oh, my. And we had to, it was a beast, and so we had to pull it down every demo, drive it on the ground in the, in the you know, 
a, a parking, parking lot, lot in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in 100 degree heat, like in the Jeez. south, and like Damn. jump ramp. And that was your demo. That jump was our ramp. demo. <laughs> and and you know, hopefully they had a curb out there. Or something. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? right. And um, it was yeah, it was pretty. Pretty amazing. Sounds fun. It, it, you know, I mean, of course it was. I mean, it, that, taxing at the but, time, but you maybe. No, no, it was. No. It was fun. Yeah. It, it was. It's difficult, but it's fun um, because I knew I was like, this is my job. Like, <laughs> yeah, what fucking better job is that? Yeah, like <laughs> totally. <laughs> skate every day. So I knew it was like once I turned pro, I had a board. It was my job. Right. And and back, you know, back then you didn't have the safety net of getting a monthly salary, you know, or payment, right? Like, oh, you're getting royalties, just royalties. Oh. So if you're not out there doing it. You're not selling boards. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there you, go. you only got a buck a board. A really? dollar a board. How much? How much was? How much was an average check for you? Uh, an average check? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe four, five thousand. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of boards, that's though. But, five thousand boards. But, oh being yeah, sold but when it, your... when oh, you, it's Tony and those dudes sold ridiculous amounts. But when when you crept towards Christmas, I sold ten. I made ten grand in like a month. Whoa. I got a check for ten thousand dollars, and I was like. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I didn't own a car. I've never driven. Didn't have my license. I didn't buy anything. You know, I bought like some music stuff, maybe. And, oh I, and so God. I just everything just went in the checking account. You're rich. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. As, as, yeah. A, as a kid, right? You know, I I never we never had any money. We didn't grow up with money. So wow. it was like, what do I do with it? I don't know, put. I had to open a bank account. Oh, well, right. open a bank account. Okay. Yeah. Put the money in the bank, and they just, they're just that. Oh it my like, god! It was wild. Yeah, it was crazy. So you didn't really yeah. spend that so, money, really? Then no, I didn't at all. That's cool. No, well, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I, I blew it on friends. You, like we'd go out and party or something. I'd, I'd sure. be the guy who'd buy all the beer. beer. Oh, okay, you yeah. know, um, but for the most part, it all just went in the bank. And then, wow. Yeah. I mean, because you're traveling and doing all this stuff. Like, what do you yeah, need money we, for? Yeah, right? like, yeah, totally. We, I would come home and and I would just, you know go back to my life for a little bit right. and, and then hit the road again. But I mean, that's a lot of boards board being sold. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. Right. Think about, think about that times, how many ever, like everyone else was selling Ooh. like in a month, I know. I mean, one month of board sales is like companies the, entire years. Yeah. Of board yeah, sales. for sure. That's and you're not having any other money coming from anywhere else, right? No, no. It's purely just board sales. <laughs> no, back then you yeah. got, if Indy, Indy would pay you 25 bucks. So I think maybe, maybe at some point <laughs> I got paid 25 bucks. And then Airwalk, when I was riding for Airwalk, I got paid like 25 bucks. Okay. And that was it. Wow. <laughs> so you got like... Ten... Serious shoe money. I was in the shoe game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got that check for 10,050 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like the, the big one went in the bank, the other one sat, and you're like, oh, maybe I should maybe. deposit those. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I, I'm going to lose money taking the time to deposit that check. <laughs> No, it it was cool, man. That's amazing. It, it was great because you know there wasn't a lot of money in skating. It was just Powell was just Crushing killing it. it. Yeah, yeah, Powell and Santa Cruz like, and Vision. That and Vision, was it. Right. Yeah. That was it during the boom of the eighties, and everybody just was fucking. Getting Were they looted. doing international sales back then too? I mean, yeah. they must have, right? Yeah. 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 Huh. It did. We I did a lot of Europe. I didn't do oh, South did. America at all, and oh, I didn't right. do at that time. I didn't do um, Asia at all, um, but it was all all Europe. It was okay. constantly just cruising around Europe, just. France, all, Spain. All, yeah, everywhere, yeah, all the time. Okay. And we'd go back and forth, you know, be there a couple times a year at least, a few times a year. Crazy. Just cruising around. Yeah. yeah. Skateboarding is great, man. The traveling oh, that's, is such a good, yeah. like, that's, one of the best perks. It, it is, ever, it, by you know. far. I don't I don't think I ever would have left the country if it wasn't for skateboarding. Seriously. I would have never even been on a fucking plane if it wasn't for skateboarding. <laughs> I didn't even leave California until skateboarding happened. Crazy, you know? yeah, right? Yeah. Wow. It's incredible. And I love traveling. I love being on the road. It's like, the best. I'd rather be on the road, you know, most of the time. Right. Yeah. 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 How often do you travel with uh, your band? Not very often because I don't really have a band. Right. Mm. Yeah. So I, I make all the records myself. and. Mm. That's so I, I got print a, every record. How do you how do you make a, how do you print the records? Well, how do you, I, I get out a chisel. <laughs> and I get out a, a um, you know, I play everything on the records for the most part, and so it's just me and my. It's a, once again, it's all very DIY. Yeah, okay. you know, out of necessity, just like everything else. I it's love like, it though. Do you have like a recording studio at your? Uh, I have a recording studio, okay. like a proper one actually, but Sick. it's in the city, and I'm not going. I live in the East Bay, so mm -hmm. I haven't been going in the city so much because the traffic's just oh, fucking unbearable. And right. San Francisco now is just. A total love hate is it? relationship yeah. because it's changed so drastically in, 
and it's just ugh. well you're born and raised there <laughs> yeah so i have the same feeling with la yeah like i love it and i hate it yeah you know, there's totally. a certain reasons yeah. you know it's just the influx of people the type yeah. of people to come to san francisco because it's a gold rush yeah. is what it is yeah. and and i get it everyone's there trying to you know mm-hmm. find find their fucking treasure but that that's it's made everybody's thing. rent go up and this whole oh, like yeah. it's, it's, it, a, it's, it's a snowball effect a com- completely yeah because yeah. yeah, everybody's trying to cash in on it totally you know if you own property if you own this whatever it is everyone's trying to cash in mm-hmm. you know? and so so anyway so i don't i don't go into the city as much anymore yeah. and so i'm not you know deluxe is still in the city but yeah. i don't need to be at deluxe okay you know, i can do anything remotely Rem- yeah. um so now i'm kind of transitioning my i have a little home studio that i've been doing stuff at okay. um so I'm probably going to make a transition at some point, yeah. just, you know, because they're they're going to sell the building that my studio's in oh. in three years. They're going to they're upping the rent, ex, you know, incrementally for sure for the next few years. And so it's like fuck, yeah. Uh, and I, we, me and my buddy got a great deal. My buddy's been in the building for 20 years. He has an incredible studio upstairs, mm-hmm. and I'm just downstairs. And so, oh yeah, seems like this this day and age it would be cheaper to just build and add on to your house or something. Yeah, yeah. No, do. I have a, I have an exterior garage that, okay. I, that I'm gonna maybe transform sick into a little space. You ever get noise complaints from your neighbors? My neighbors yeah. is cool. No, I, okay. I don't. I don't make a lot of noise. See, the yeah. thing is, like my approach to recording, especially for for many years, mm-hmm. was direct. So no amps. No, no, oh, nothing. straight oh. into the computer. Yeah, no, it wasn't even computer no. back then. It was like whatever, oh, the track, the yeah. recording medium that I was using. So oh. you know, you have a board, you have effects, etc. You plug in and, and you do your thing. Oh, so yeah. a lot of it was is just straight headphones. Okay, yeah. And you're you uh, bass guitar? What do you? What's e- your uh, everything? I grew up playing bass, but okay, but the guitar thing happened, and that's more what I'm known for. But, yeah, uh, but I'm grew up as a bass player. Oh, but then I make do everything. I play a little keys. I play all the percussion. Whatever it takes. You know, okay. it's just one of those things. Whatever's necessary. I think you're, you're like you're you're kind of born with that because I don't have any musical ability in my body. You can like I can't scene. even I can't even hum. You yes. know what I mean? Like I, I'm. <laughs> it's 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 sad. You know, but for you to be, uh, play all these instruments is is phenomenal. It's, it's yeah. genetic because my brother's a musician he's a phenomenal guitar player but okay. my my father and his three brothers were all musicians they oh. grew up in san francisco playing like my i guess my father played in the fillmore so oh, the, wow. the jazz clubs like he would sit in with people and he could play a bunch of stuff okay so and then my other they were all vocalists and they all had a group together the vers- mm. i think they're called like the versatones or something okay sort of like acapella group you know like oh. under the street lamp style like, oh wow <laughs> And then they all started playing instruments, and my father was a musician, and then my great my grandmother and my grandfather was a jazz guitar player and a violinist. And it's my, in the blood. Jeez. And my grandmother was a vocalist. Oh wow! I didn't I didn't grow up with them, um, but I have photos. I have these incredible fo- photos from like the wow. '40s and late '40s oh, that's of, amazing. of them playing. That's yeah. amazing. And so you're like, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. 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 I can't, you can't escape that shit. Yeah, yeah. You're totally. Know, genetics is right. You, know, you can't. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh... I could whistle. That's about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah that's cheers, about Yeah. Cheers theme. Oh, I play the cheers theme on piano. Ah, nice. The dun, first part, dun, right? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, just the, just the, the first. <laughs> anyway, let's go Sorry. back yeah, to, uh, we'll, we'll get into so, the whole music yeah, thing. Yeah, don't worry um, about that. No, 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 no. I want to worry about it. But uh, well, let's go back to the um, you leaving Powell for yeah. a reel with Jim. So I was on I was on Powell for like mm-hmm. five years, six years, something like that. You know, there's a big window. Did, did all the traveling and did mm-hmm. everything. And, and what, you know, what happens in our industry and any sort of sports related Mm -hmm. you know shit is it out with the old and with the new there you go and i could and i was being put on the back burner and i knew it you know oh you could feel oh you 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 had i mean look who was coming up behind me you know like chetty thomas yeah gabriel you know all those guys there you go all those guys when they first got on pal they were the new little street urchins yeah you know they're like oh these guys are fucking insane street urchins yeah they were and 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 you know the thing is when there was i forget what video when they were kind of introduced i had heard that a lot of the stuff that they had filmed didn't make it in because it would have just made us all look so wow. bad <laughs> way yeah, it's, totally. <laughs> oh, it's wow. smart it's smart I mean, yeah. you know, on stacy's part yeah. and that's why tony that's why tony didn't get a lot of um street footage like when we were doing the animal chin stuff mm-hmm. because he ripped because he's doing all kinds he's all kinds of he's like 50 50s he stares to like 360 shove it's off and all this shit that was you know later later uh, uh, come to light um stacy just didn't want to 
you know, he every he wanted to kind of everybody to have their place. their their yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. shine yeah. in their place you totally know, or the street or whatever and and it made sense you know yeah. it was it was pretty interesting you know editing right changes everything it's for totally sure yeah. Yeah. It creates a context so you felt that yeah so and I you felt, wanted to yeah, get out I, I knew I was because the, because they were like our our team manager Todd Hastings had called me and asked me like oh we I heard you haven't been skating and this and this you know saying you know like some rumors and I'm just like. Uh, what? Did, did you say like, you like you were on crack or something like that? Yeah, like <laughs> oh, we heard you've been doing drugs, and I'm like, oh my god, who are they? Are they making this shit minds. up, or how is this? Yeah, just yeah, be, because it's it's like we we partied, you know, yeah. like a whole like everybody. It was like you go out to clubs and you go out and and you party. There you go. But it wasn't. It wasn't extreme. Like, yeah, it wasn't extreme by any means. You know, you were walking around Saturday like, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You know, this gets back there and you're like, what? And so and it, it just was, it was hurtful, you know, yeah, in that yeah, way yeah. of like, you don't even have faith in me. So then after that was the next, that's that like disco in Frisco or one of those contests, right? Mm. And uh, I was skating and he was up there and he's like, oh, wow, you're ripping. And, and I'm like, see? Fucking surprise. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm st- <laughs> that's all I do is skate. Like, yeah. What are you talking <laughs> about? You know, so, so that just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And I, yeah. I think I... That might have been the one I won, or the or mm. I got second, or something, and so that kind of shut them shut them up for a minute. <laughs> what were the purses for those contests, by the way? Like four dollars. <laughs> That's a lot back then. Four bucks. Yeah, get put a, that you with get your fifty dollars check. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't that much. Like the biggest purse was three grand, and that was like a stubbies thing that I won, and okay. that was the biggest purse of the time. Okay. Um. So that was like you know winning three grand. It's like, great. Ooh, yeah. 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 Pay, you're stacking the rent. you're stacking the chips yeah. in your uh, checking account. Yeah. Yeah. True. So so um so there was that time. And it was one of so it was at the end of one of those SF contests mm-hmm. when Jim came up, and and uh, Jeff Clint because Jim was really good friends with Jeff, mm-hmm. and so we came up, we started talking, and then I talked to Fausto, and they're like, "Hey, we, we want to start this thing. We want you to ride for it." Oh wow! And I was like, "There it is. There's the there's the door. There's the window. Another yes. door opening. Okay. One door closing. Another one opening. So." It made it. Ju- it made sense. Me and Jim had always talked one about doing you know stuff together and the way we wanted to do it because we didn't. Mm-hmm. We were already over the fact of like going and doing demos and being like these monkeys in the ring. You know, okay. yeah. dance for us, little monkeys. Dance. <laughs> well, it's like you you're know. building somebody else's house as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, t- t- that's that's true, which is fine. You yeah, because okay. you're being compensated for it. There but, you go. But it's just we we wanted to be more inclusive. Mm-hmm. So when we started real, like we go do demos, everyone just skated. We'd yeah. all just skate together. Make a big party. Yeah, it wasn't mm-hmm. like you know yeah. the ring of fire. Right. Like, okay. Ooh, Oh, shit, we're in the hot seat. <laughs> Put the spotlight on us. We wanted to change it. So that's why I knew I knew that it was uh, the right time. Yeah. And so when I told Stacy and everything, he was just totally bummed. But he didn't un- he didn't understand because I think he was a bit more removed because he wasn't TM anymore. It was okay. Todd and it was Jim Fitzpatrick too. That he so he was more removed. So he didn't probably know really what was going on and that they were trying to back burner. Because I think okay. St- Stacy had the idea that he said that he he had hoped to try to work with all of us guys. Mm-hmm. Um as sort of uh, statesmen of these other companies, like start your own kind of brands or your own things within under the under the their umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, but no one knew that. Mm. Like I didn't know it. Okay. No one didn't really wasn't known, and and, and it just you know the house of cards just went quick. Yeah, like, pow. Once I quit, it was like <sighs> then like Rodney quit and oh yeah, wow everybody and Tony just, yeah. and Lance and the only one you know Stevie obviously stayed man, but it yeah. just it just went down really quick. You broke the empire, yeah. man. You you uh, <laughs> started it. Uh, I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. So it wasn't scary so, going no, it was and super, starting it was a new super thing. Scary. Okay, because oh, I'll tell you, when I was putting all those checks in the banks, it added up, right? Yeah. And I was told, I was like, the government's going to take all your money, right? Because you don't have anything to show for it. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't you buy don't. anything. You have an investment. Exactly. And so I, I, I was like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? Um, so I put a down payment. You know, I bought a, I bought a condo because mm-hmm. I couldn't, I wanted to buy a house, but I traveled so much, I couldn't maintain it. Gotcha. And everything that, that, that I could have for was a fixer upper kind of thing and i'm like I, you have no time i hit my thumb with the hammer like what are you talking <laughs> about like i'm not building shit <laughs> tim Payne would come up you know when we were build ramps and you know build jim's ramp and build bk's like tommy he would just delegate tommy do this this, this. i'm like okay i can do that yeah yeah, yeah you know but on my own i'm like just oh, <laughs> well, like hit backwards hammer the claw right. like <laughs> you know, you can't open this bottle yeah. right, right, right. totally not that dude i'm okay. not a handy guy not a handy no. see i i'm it there's, no, there's the I'm genes not. i'm I, i'm a handy guy yeah i'm not yeah. i'm i'm the <laughs> I'm over here thinking about a song. Right. You know? Right. So 
I bought a place bought um, a I, and I had, a, I had a condo mm-hmm. and I had a mortgage payment. Mm. So when I quit Powell, I was, I was getting maybe 25% of what, of what I was from Powell, what I was getting for real. Like my, you know, it was, it was, it was cut. A huge cut <laughs> yeah. in pay. And so, you know, you have bills. Yeah. I was like, fuck, this is kind of gnarly. Time to so, get a roommate. <laughs> yeah, I, I got two roommates. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So he's like, oh, no more, no more st- room studio. Right. That's a bedroom yeah. now. Yeah. And then everything oh, moved into my bedroom. And then I recorded like a couple of these albums in that room. Wow. Oh. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was, it was a leap, you know, okay. a leap of faith kind of thing. Right. And, and, but I've always knew that I wanted to stay in skating, you know, it's like, fuck, I want to stay in skating. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I still want to skate. The thing was, I wasn't ready to quit being a pro skater either by any means. Right. And how old you know? were you when you uh, formed Real? 74. Okay, 74. Mm-hmm. Your timeline's a little crazy. I've heard 80, I've heard 100. You're kind of, your timeline's a little off. You're going to see now. <laughs> the gray matter it's, you know, synapses they don't, they don't fire so well anymore. Come on, give me a, give me a break here. Um it was it was ninety ninety one or so ninety one you know, like when we really got it together okay when we really got real together okay um, and it was just us sitting on a floor with literally glue stick and you know exactos <laughs> making graphics like wow. and Xerox machine that's wow. how we were doing it crazy yeah um, and it just kind of took off from there I think you know because of what me and Jim had done. Within skating and and you know of course of you know Sluggo and fucking Max and Henry and mm-hmm. all those guys when we had the team it was just like who are these fucking weirdos <laughs> right like, you know you had the two like elder statesmen cats and then you had these young guns coming up who were just so gnarly and yeah. so good like, yeah like Henry Sanchez people were just like what the fuck he's on a different level yeah completely yeah, yeah. and so I mean everybody yeah. helped grow the company gotcha um, but me and jim were the constant when we were the, we were the ones who had the the identity right okay I mean, people knew who we were right? right from we had history yeah within mm-hmm. the skate community so people trusted us they knew who we were there there you go so, so they they accepted like what this new skateboard brand you know trying to get boards and shops my brother worked for us and he was a salesman so he was known just he's like i could sell snow to the devil okay like, he was like <laughs> he's great he's great so he got he was one he cut and paste all the catalogs he's like he, he was talking about it he's like yeah we should seriously cut and paste make all the catalogs ship throw them out in the boxes and just xerox them yeah xerox them and how are you yeah. getting like all the the skate shop info and how are you like going that, about to like that get was, the boards that was, out there that was difficult yeah uh, you know because at that time right pre-internet right yeah it was really difficult well, those um they're shop lists. Deluxe was know? already yeah. doing Spitfire and all that stuff too before you guys. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah, totally. Spitfire was it existed prior. So yeah. they had yeah. their they, they had, had a little thing going. Yeah, they on had. Already. Yeah, totally. Gotcha. Yeah, and we just piggybacked onto that, but it was bored, so it was a whole new thing. Whole new thing. And, mm-hmm. and it was a new brand, and it was at that time there wasn't there was very few small brands, right? Like if any. Yeah. And it was so, a big dog. So it was hard to trust, right? Like who are these guys? What are they doing? How long will they last? Yeah. yeah. How long yeah. are they in the game? Are they really? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, it was a hustle. Yeah. You know, um, and we, we, me and Jim, <laughs> and this is funny. We we would end up just touring. You just go and do demos wherever, whenever. And we were in like Ohio in the mid of winter once. It was just like I thought we were all going to die. We were with Goose. <laughs> you know Goose. Do you remember him? I don't no, know skater. Goose. He was so right. He skated for real. He's a character. But we're in the car, and I'm like, are we going to die right now? Like we're in a <laughs> snowstorm on the freeway. We're from fucking San Francisco. Yeah, we're in the Bay Area with snow. I've never even been to the snow. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? And so we would go out and people are like, what are you doing doing demos in the wintertime <laughs> yeah. like in the Midwest or in the South? Like, what are you? You're like, it sounded like a good like, idea on the, the West East, Coast. East Coast. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, because they're stupid. We're like, I don't know. We're from San Francisco. We don't, yeah. we don't have sure. weather. Right. We don't have seasons. Guys, were shops paying you guys for demos? Yeah. Uh, not the real stuff. We uh-huh. usually end up doing free, but the mm-hmm. Powell ones, we got, yeah, we got paid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like a few hundred bucks or yeah. something. That's, that's and, sick though. And <laughs> what they'd end up doing, because they'd book the whole fucking tour is that they'd give you the check ahead of time as like you know you're spending cash and uses per diems and so forth and so everybody just blew their money oh, wow, yeah. instantly yeah. it's like before I even left tour right it was uh, such a bad move they they gave us credit cards at one point and that was fucking oh, hilarious. they gave you wow. credit cards yeah they gave jesse martinez one and he spent it he blew it all on like sushi and, they, <laughs> and then they they revoked his and then and then uh, i bought a 
that was after I got my four track and everything. Then they gave the credit cards and, uh-huh. I, and I went and bought a bed because I was sleeping on the floor as a professional skater. I was like, maybe I could get a mattress. You know, on like, their dime. Yeah. yeah. Well, even, the, you know, I still had to pay it back, but it was, they, they felt people were abusing this privilege, right? It was supposed to be for like touring, hotels, et cetera. Yeah. And, and so I bought, a, I bought a bed and I'm like, it wasn't like I went out and blew it a party. <laughs> I was like, yo, I don't even have a mattress. Like, it, right. You know. so, and so they're like, yeah. We're, we're fucking reeling that one in. They're like, you make oh, 10 wow. grand on board royalties. You can yeah. go buy a mattress. Yeah. 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 But this was early on. Oh. This was early on before like that, that real money started rolling. Have you ever given any of your guys credit cards now? Uh, the I think, yeah. I Does a shot no, have a credit t- card? There's TMs, no. <laughs> that would be dude, gnarly. Yeah, yeah, a a shot doesn't need yeah. a fucking credit card. He's, <laughs> he's got the fucking Nike fucking bank oh, yeah. behind him. Right, oh, right, yeah. right. Like, a little extra scratch. Maybe he needs a mattress. Real is real is his like airwalk money for me that's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 25, like, 25 bucks yeah. 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 he probably got a pile of real checks like ah check, 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 check. Uh, yeah like whatever did you and Jim uh, when you were like starting this and, and trying to grow it did you ever butt heads and try to mm. fight or not not physically but, or maybe you did physically I don't know no we never physically no. screaming matches but just didn't get a, did you disagree no. a lot on yeah, stuff and, yeah because I'm we're we're very different people okay and which um, can make which could be a good thing though it could be but but it's you can't have two chefs in the kitchen right that fucking analogy but um it just there was a point in time when i sort of took a step back from from the creative and and because it just wasn't working Uh because my my ideas wrapped around what a skate company uh and team is or would be is a little different um i came from i came from the mentality of powell Mm-hmm. And the way it was ran, and in and, and the way of the caliber of the skaters. Gotcha. Yeah. And then we shifted into a time where contests were our proving proving ground. Mm-hmm. Right. That was how mm-hmm. you proved yourself back then. There was no other way. And then it shifted into video. Right. Right. And so if you had a killer video part, you could turn pro. Mm-hmm. Never even enter a contest. Right? right. And so we had guys who did that, and I didn't understand it. Like you know, there was someone you know. He's like, I'm like, you going to Tampa? And he's like, No, I'm not going. I'm like, you just turn pro. Like, like, I don't like entering contests, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, okay. you didn't get that. I, I do not get it. Right. No, I did not understand it um, at that time because it was just so foreign to me. Yeah. It didn't make sense. And Jim got it. He was, uh, yeah, he I, was I think, more... yeah, he was, he was more aware of what was coming. Okay. He always is, you know, yeah. he, he's good that way. Yeah. He, he kind of sees the what's Oracle. happening before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just before it really starts happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I still had that old school mentality and I still do, you know, I still believe like there's certain dudes that, you know, I'm like, that guy is amazing for, yeah. for different reasons, you know? Right. And, and, and then that guy who's amazing, I'm like, eh, whatever. Right. I mean, you know? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he's got it, but he doesn't have the fire. Kelly's sitting right Just, here, bro. You shouldn't really talk. <laughs> <about> <laughs> yeah, you know, he's listening. Good. He's listening. He has his opinion. He's a, T- <laughs> he's a TM. I need to say right. things on people, you know? No, <laughs> no, we no, all I'm, have. I'm, <laughs> I do have my opinions about it all. And I'm, right. you know, completely. And I just, it would just be a different approach. Yeah. So I don't think that my approach would have worked okay. because a lot of the guys, there's guys, you know how it works. Like so-and-so's pro and he's the pro on the team and he wants so-and-so to go pro. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, I don't think so-and-so should go pro. Right. Yeah. No, but he's a homie. Yeah. yeah. And you're kind of like, oh, fuck, what do you do? And will his board sell? Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, already, you already know it. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I know it. Yeah. I still know it. I see it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and Jim sees it, and then you're kind of in a position, you, and it's fun. You're in a quagmire. You it, know, it, you know. It's just, it's a, really, it's a really difficult position to be in. And, you know, yeah. there's things that I want to do within skating, but I don't want to have a team just because of that. I don't want to build these relationships, and then at some point, it's like you're cut. Because yeah. that's the way it goes. Right. Yeah. You, it, for sure. It's right. tough. You're, yeah. You it know, is tough. Our, our moment in, in you know, skateboarding mm-hmm. is, is finite. There you go. And for a reason. Yeah. Your body doesn't hold out. It's yep. just yep. not possible. It's, you know, Tony Hawk, he's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> he defies all logic. Yeah. But he other, than, 50. Uh, other than that, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, other than that. You know, right. we all adhere to the same fucking, you know, totally. laws of science. And gravity. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I, I kind of took a, a step back from real and, and okay. let Jim really steer the ship. And you trusted Jim? Um, I, I did, to, uh, to some degree. To, certain, to some degree. I mean, I still I still see shit Jim does. And I'm like, <laughs> like, seriously? What's the worst thing you've seen Jim do? Let's put him on the spot. Right? Oh, wow. Is this, uh, what do you mean? Let's get him on. Jim's, Jim's, not, like, Jim's and, not here. And so. what, and what Has sense? Jim ever fucked up? Of course. We all fail. We all, we all up. fail. Yeah, I mean, of course. Shit, right. that's that's he's not uh 
you know, the golden boy in that sense. He, he, he kind of is. No, no, we, he, he is. I mean, yeah. in our community, he is. Yeah. yeah. 100%. We yeah. all know that. Yeah. But no, no, he, of course, he makes mistakes. Yeah, he, and he's the first one to admit it. Yeah. You know, whatever. I don't have any specifics. It's, but, and it's also, once again, opinion. Like, yeah. I don't think we should have done this. I don't think we should have done that. Right. Fucking apples and oranges. Wait, you just, just move on, yeah. You yeah. just never yeah, know. Totally, there's no yeah. point. Yeah. It's like, ah, whatever. Yeah. On to the yeah. next. Because there's, yeah. there's too many fires. Right. You know, and Jim's like trying to put them all out, like doing this dance. I'm like, dude, you got to let a couple burn. It's like playing yeah. Twister. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so let me go back. So go we're, ahead, we're yeah. real 90s, right? We started this thing, and then we have all these guys coming up. Mm -hmm. And then around 95, you know, Jim wanted to kind of call it quits. This is when, this is at a time when you retired as a pro, right? And you know, oh. bored and all that shit. Okay. And, and I still didn't believe that. And but When you start feeling like you're milking it? We, we were, me and Jim were kind of, um, at that point in time, like really like seen as kind of one entity, you know, it's like oh. Jim and Tommy, Jim and Tommy. And so we did, you know, we did have boards together. Like, mm -hmm. so we did kind of a retirement board together, but Fausto had told me, you know, he was like, dude, that's stupid. It's the stupidest thing you should do. Cause I think it was me and Kelch who had the, the best selling boards at so, the time. Yeah. Even at that time. So you're like, Oh, you're going to shoot yourselves in the foot. And I didn't feel I was ready. And maybe it was for the best. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Mm. I thought I had at least another year, you know, okay. to, to keep it going. Yeah. And it was, you know, it's hard because it was my identity. Mm -hmm. There you, know? you go. And it had been for quite some time. Absolutely. And so it's really difficult to like walk away from something like that. You feel like you lose a part of yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, no, fortunately, I had music to, you know, kind of see me through a lot of it because it was hard. It was, it, was, it was difficult. And so, you know, now how we, what's really cool the way we honor the older dudes is that, you know, you have the whatever legend series or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Like, I always think like certain people should always have boards. Yeah. Whether oh, it's right. just in board sales, you make 100 boards, 200 boards, whatever it is, I think they should always have boards. Cause, Definitely. Because they were, they were such pioneers in what they were doing right. that I think it's important that their legacy still exists and still, you know, totally. Like 100%. Continue, continue. 100%. You know, there's room for it. I, Absolutely. I think there's room for it. And, you yeah. can, and there's special ways to do things to make it unique and and so forth so but at that time it was like no you're done old dude you done, know yeah. like and on to the next and so oh, I, I and that's what i and it was hard for me because i got that from pal so i already experienced that and i'm like, and I'm like here we go again here we go again yeah so that's how we just started getting more involved in the business aspect and just i mean you know we were, we were running the company where mm -hmm. we'd skate we'd work half a day and then we'd go skate right and then it became a point in time when it was like okay well now you're just sitting in front of a fucking computer yes, yes. i'm not built for that no. whatsoever so maybe it was like a good thing that you guys focused on the company to yeah. grow it or yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think so i mean okay. there, there's an aspect of it but i still think that neither of us really needed to to uh retire the boards right you, know, could, you still you, could have done just boards and board sales and we still would have they still would have sold when you guys both retired did did you see a, a decline in sales i mean because you guys didn't have boards I, anymore i don't know so I, how the, I didn't you weren't yeah day to day yeah it wasn't okay in the uh, the numbers guy right but i'm sure there was to some degree mm -hmm, you know for mm -hmm. sure because you have something that sells well and then you pull it and it doesn't totally there, right you don't have the product to sell anymore so right, right. Um, but you fill it with other holes right you know the riders came in and stuff yeah so, i mean you guys have you know. built a phenomenal thing over there it's, it's phenomenal yeah it's, it's jim i mean early on it was it was me and jim and, the, mm -hmm. and the, all the other riders you know solomon and just everyone and, and then uh and then it just became jim yeah you know at some point it, has he ever hit you up and been like, Tom, get in no, here. What are you no, doing? No, 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 no. He, we, and he's like, go skate. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he just, um, he, he loves, it. he has a vision, mm -hmm. I think. And my thoughts and opinions are, it's, it's, he does the daily ops. He runs everything. Yeah. And so, you know, for me to come in and interject my fucking two cents here and there, it's just, it's more like I'm needling him than it would be, you know, giving him some like micromanaging, you know, yeah. Yeah. not even micromanaging, just like, like ideas wise, you know, yeah. like that I might be just sort of, uh, the fly in the ointment right at, at times like you come in on the 12th hour and yeah yeah try to so, change so, something or, or just yeah. an idea well I'll, you know and i'll look at things you know things happen you don't see it and i'm like we should not have done that out Crazy. there yeah and so yeah. you know it's but it's daily it's it the, the machine is moving and you just it just goes yeah and and there, it's really difficult to uh, to know all, what's going on with all the different moving parts. It's just it's impossible. It's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, go ahead. So so yeah. So that's the real thing is it, Jim just kind of took it. And, yeah. And, and ran with it. Right. Yeah. And then I started doing um, 
all the crooked, you know, layout and design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when crooked years. came around, I mean, that, Mark Gonzalez, did, what was the conversation there? Was it uh, to start crooked? We always, you know, we knew Mark wanted to do something, and you know, Mark's so creative, and he, mm-hmm. he, if you're sitting there long enough, he'll draw on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you really Seriously. will. Yeah. Okay. So we, you know, we're like, fuck, Mark's a creative force. We should do something, and and it just, you know, and you know how everything starts. It's just an idea, and then ah, oh, let's do something. Yeah. Um, and so it initially it was our art room manager who was kind of taking care of all the crooked stuff, you okay. know, like making it all happen. And, and uh, by the way, Rick McCrank gave this to me. Oh, there you go. Off, yeah. off his back. Antisocial yeah. skateboard shop. Um, yes. At the Lower Bob's contest. Because oh, I, I, I tried to order one online and they were sold out. And, um, and I told him, like, oh, I was trying to order one. Man, I love that's such a rad sweatshirt. They took it off and gave and, it to you. Took it off and it's kind of d- dude that's Rick awesome. is. Yeah. I know. So I was like, dude. I would have said I'll give you a discount I'm, code for the website. I would, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping it imbues some kind of special powers like that that guy has. You know, yeah, I'm like, give me yeah. some guy. Phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal skateboarder. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, just human. Crazy. That yeah. Dude, that dude rules. Absolutely. 100%. So, so anyway, where were we? Starting Crooked. And, yeah, starting Crooked. Uh, yeah. So it, for a couple years, I think it was maybe a year or two, mm-hmm. our room manager was you know spearheading it like taking care of the you know graphic design and and at times working with mark like i want it like this and like this but mark's sensibilities are more on the kind of fine art Mm -hmm. you know um, approach where skateboards are very graphic right something bold and something strong you know Mm -hmm. as you can see yeah work really well and so it wasn't really it was just it was um it was a lot it was a lot of noise because it was so much information happening mm-hmm. at, you know on some of the stuff it was it wasn't really um coming together i don't think and then it kind of i don't know how it fell in my lap or if i decided to do it or I, maybe i did a few boards mm-hmm. and, and just started doing you know simple stuff just really simple his his funny quotes mm-hmm. with like the image you know and it, it just made sense right and so I ended up by default kind of became, becoming the art yeah, director became, of it. Yeah, became <laughs> the, the guy. And I, you know, sat at the computer, <laughs> co- you know, coloring Mark's art, you know, from napkins to boxes to, you know, I would get stuff in a box of art and the box had cooler art on it than the stuff it was. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And so I'm scanning the boxes. And, and then it became when he moved to New York and, and when he was, you know, out in Europe and France and you get faxes yep. and you get faxes from these, you know, hotels and, uh, all over. And so you get these faxes and I'm like, fuck, you know how faxes come through yeah. and with all the broken line work. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> this shit. So I like, got uh, Sometimes you have to take a Sharpie and like, Redraw. you know, just finish the line. So yeah, when you scan course. it, you know, it works out. Yeah. Some, you know, it just, it, it came in all all kind of mediums. Well, you made the face of uh, sitting so. in the computer like you didn't want it, but it sounded like it was cool because it was Mark Gonzalez's stuff, and you were like, you know, putting it on boards. Well, Mark, as... Mark trusted me because we have a we we've, we've known each other forever. Yeah, like he used to come and stay at my mom's house with me when you know when, when we go skate. Oh wow! Um, so he we have you know a mutual admiration and respect mm-hmm. for each other, and he mm-hmm. so he trusted me with his stuff. Yeah. He's like, you just do it, you do it better, and you do what you want. Kind okay, of thing. it was really cool. I mean, it yeah. was you know. But, um, and then I did that for a long time and, <laughs> you know, I started getting, you know, repetitive stress disorder and carpal tunnel, like coming up my arm, my the, elbow, yeah. my arm, like fuck. And, you know, you're a musician. Music. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not here on this fucking planet to color Mark's art. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my, why just, I exist, yeah. you know, <laughs> not trying to diminish others, you know, or anything, um, not in your, any way. Not your cup of tea. That's just not why I'm here. Right. So, and it started fucking my back up. So I got a standing oh desk and then I got the chair and I got the, you know. So, so you got yeah. somebody else to do it. <clears throat> so, well, the art room, you know, the, the people we have in the art room were fucking much better artists than I'd ever, I could ever be. So it was like, what am I doing? What am I, yeah. Is, I'm done. Right. And this woman, Amanda, used to work for us. She's fucking incredible. She did all the bunch of insane antihero stuff, like the eagle that she made out of all, oh, wow. the, all the pills. And, oh, right. and the, also the, um pinata eagle and i mean she's she was phenomenal okay so she really took over and, and helped out with crooked and just, oh, and just made it look way better just, okay just much better. you still had your my approach i'm my very rudimentary skills you mm-hmm. know with photoshop right, right so right, right. um it just made sense you guys you still oversee crooked though you're uh still involved with uh pink <laughs> he's on the Blue. phone right i'm out he's <laughs> That's that's my, that's my extent of of, right. of uh, art directing. Well, which you know, fuchsia. That's fuchsia. <laughs> fuchsia's hot right now. Yeah, but that's what you need, though. You know, you need somebody with that. You know, well, I, you know, we, we also have a brand manager, um, mm-hmm. Bram, and he he's great. And so I, I kind of let him, you know, 
uh, uh, take the reins because I'm old. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's cool. I have no fucking clue. I have no idea what's cool. You, you know, know what's cool. Bro. No, I have no idea. You know, because because the shift. What's what's interesting is the shift in graphic design on skateboards now mm -hmm. has really opened up, and it's really gone back to what Mark was doing originally. Yeah, like just the, you know, really kind of art school based Xeroxy just kind of fucked yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's huge now yeah. right mm -hmm. and and so it's interesting to see it come back around because that was the stuff that i really enjoyed two of marks you know the, the xeroxy zine mm -hmm. kind of stuff but it didn't work yeah like we did that and it yeah. just didn't work so hmm. that's why we started doing the just bold colors and you know yeah everyone in the industry also did that though. it's like oh well just branding their boards you know yeah yeah totally mm -hmm. yeah. so then it you know so then we shifted and then it came back around yeah you were ahead of your time so well <laughs> not me um I'm, I'm behind that's for sure um so bram is younger and he sees what's going on and okay. he digs you know he's a photographer and you know he's a he's a creative type and i was like you run with it because he was here you know but what about this what about this what about this i'm like here Dude, just go do it you yeah got this. you know yeah you don't need to ask me about fucking every aspect yeah. of like a crooked board mm -hmm. or an ad or etc like right. you run with it you see what's out there you know what's going on you, you're with those guys like who dig that you stuff. gotta you gotta have the young kids you know the young kids they know the kids are always going to win because they know yeah. they got their finger on the pulse they, they're i know? mean they're out there yeah if you're not out there, you forget it. Right. Yeah. How do you feel about the the state of skateboarding right now with, uh, you know, Instagram and social media and everything? It's like a whole new thing, you know? Well, social media aspect of it, like the, it's a love hate again, right? Yeah. But it's the one thing I do, I am noticing that, you know, when people release new videos or clips, et cetera, and they, and they post a minute, a mm -hmm. long clip of, the video and then you watch the video and it's three minutes long you're kind of like you just yeah. blew 30 30 percent of the video yeah, yeah. kind of ruined it you see all the highlights you see right. all the stuff and it's i i think that i think personally that i would really i would just give a little te little teasers here and there to you know to make one track yeah. watch it one yeah just couple, thing. Yeah, yeah. a couple things yeah. you know because yeah. now it's like they're all they're mini videos yeah that, oh, are, that are happening for sure and it and it's and it's oh, gets digested <clears throat> and just shat out at the same time and yeah. on to the next what's next what's more more yeah. more more and it, i think it diminishes the impact that that stuff has right oh, totally you right know, good or bad I, I don't know yeah i, I have i don't I, think anybody I, knows i really but, don't know but it, every, i think everything in moderation too you know what i mean like just so, so it's all, everything's about moderation yeah he just touched a Roger's arm. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> he's drinking beer, so I'm like, moderate. Moderate. moderation. 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 No, I would have joined you, but except for the, it was like way too early. <laughs> like, oh, shit. It's past noon. We're good. It's true. Yeah, it's yeah, five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't, you know, I, I have my, my thoughts on that stuff. Yes. I, I would rather be excited to see like a Brad, you know, clip or video like in, in full than right. just giving away all the, you know, the spoilers on, yeah. on Instagram on, and I'm, I'm like, what? I you can't see it. Just a little fun. Turn it up. I can't hear it. <laughs> Fucking old man. Um, so it's, I don't, I don't know. Well, it's yeah. funny because it's hard. in what we talked about, 2015 is when kind of, I feel like internet, the internet or Instagram kind of blew up. That's what I was thinking. And like, we all had our eyes on people. We all had our favorite skaters. And when Instagram came out, we all looked at them at that time. And then during that time from 2015 to 2018, that time gave everyone the chance to really make a name for themselves in social media. So now there's like a billion kids yeah. that can, they, they have made their name through that three years of yeah. just being on Instagram. When before we had a lot of scares that worked their whole careers yeah. for that point, they did their thing. And then now everyone can just be in like, yeah, anyone can be their own brand. Yeah. 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 It kind of, in the last three years, it really just, exponentially just got insane yeah, yeah because yeah. there's so many clips out there you see guys you've never even heard of doing something like one gnarly thing or something and you're just like whoa that's fucking crazy yeah then and all of a sudden you want to know more about the kid yeah, yeah yeah and you go and you go and check it out and yeah. you're like wow Fall this, in the rabbit hole this dude rips yeah, yeah. but but i am i am definitely of the mindset of less is more less is more and, mm -hmm. and the thing with uh, you know people who make this content there's you know you watch these videos sometimes you're like oh you didn't need three fucking angles of that trick. yes right you didn't you right. did a, okay you board slid it then you kick with board slid or whatever you're like just leave the board slide out maybe yeah. most of the time they're just trying to help the song yeah yeah, yeah. And you're like there's just it, i think i always think less is more more of an impact leaving you wanting more is way more important right yeah. well also too like that brings me to like uh your show bs with tg 
right? It's like that. I think like nowadays too, skaters want more. They want something else than skateboarding. You know what I mean? And like you provided that too with like that show talking and I mean it was a great show thanks but you know what I mean like people want something we see we're so inundated with skateboarding yeah like we want yeah. something else so it's very it's very true there's a point in time <clears throat> you know when you're flipping through Instagram you're just like oh like there's times when I don't even want to bother to watch the video you're like right. if, you're like oh, I, yeah <laughs> I, I know it's some crazy ledge trick yeah like rad but I don't. I don't know. It's. I don't totally. find it interesting. Grant Taylor. I never pass on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. There's. Yeah. Just there's like, the dudes. I'm yeah. fucking glued. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. But but there's so much of that stuff happening that it's almost it's so perfunctory and it's almost becoming um, um, compulsory to some degree. There you where go. you have the guys doing the same tricks mm-hmm. on the same type of of object and you're, it's just kind of like. Okay, well, there was one more step. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the, he went a foot farther. The rail you know, was gold the ra- instead of yeah, silver. Yeah, you know? it's just, yeah. it's so, I don't know. I think you become um, anesthetized to yes. some of it. Yeah. You know, because there's so much. Mm-hmm. You're just inundated with this information and, and, and it becomes noise. Yeah. And so at some point, you're just kind of like, oh, God, I don't. I Turn don't, the fire hose off. Yeah. yeah. But then something anymore. interesting comes along and that yeah. kind of. Uh, yeah. You need you, you need that. You, yeah. you can't just. And, and I think the voice of skateboarders and the fact that, our, you know, our community is really unique. Mm-hmm. We we have problems. And it, it, <laughs> Always true. have. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. otherwise we wouldn't be skaters. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so we can identify with each other on a level that we can't identify with other people yeah. at all like yeah. we can't relate like i go somewhere i cannot relate to people half totally. the time more than half <laughs> oh the yeah time. you know you go to play music i still i'm like where are the skaters because i can't relate to this is these i need my people yeah yeah because you can be who you are around them totally. you're like oh you're an idiot you're like yes <laughs> I, I, I am, am an, an idiot, idiot. Right. <laughs> and so are you <laughs> excellent let's be idiots together exactly you know i still like to think there's a brotherhood within skating absolutely you know you see someone with a skateboard and you know they skateboard mm-hmm. you're like you know a skater from a non-skater. Yeah, you got a skateboard, you got the look, and they're like, you're not a fucking skater. Right, right. You know it. Totally. You can see it in their eyes. You're like, you're not a skater. Right. So, um, uh, yeah, I just, the BS thing, I just thought that it was just a different angle. And, and and so many of the of us, you know, have been done this type of thing before, interviews mm-hmm. and so forth. and For sure. Um, that they're, it's all out there. And so you're trying to find different ways to get uh, um, uh, people to talk about some other aspects of their lives mm-hmm. or something interesting or something we don't know about. Um, that's what kind of I wanted with the BS thing. The idea with BS really came from, I was thinking about it <clears throat> and I wanted to be a bar kind of a, a situation where, oh, yeah. where I was a bartender and just, you know how you just sit there at the bar, you bullshit with the bartender. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? And that's really what it came from. And so I was like, Oh, it'd be rad if we could have a bar. I had a friend in San Francisco, he was going to lend me the bar. Oh, okay. And it was trying to find, trying to find someone to film it, trying to find, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's a whole it's, thing. It's, it's, you know, yeah. I mean, just it's to do that, I was like, Oh, it'd have been rad. I would have been the bartender and Mickey walks in <laughs> and it's like, Oh, how's it going? What do you want? Here's a beer. You know, Oh, well, what's, what's cracking, you know? And, <laughs> right. and then just let the stories unfold as yeah. they do. Totally. Now, Naturally. Um, and that was like what I really wanted to do. Okay. But then, of course, it's just we don't have the resources. The, yeah. We don't yeah. have the people power. We don't have any of yeah. that at Deluxe um, to do those type of things. So it just got kind of pulled and back. it's a long time to stand up, too, being the bartender. Yes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I would just pull up a chair. <laughs> what do you want, you right. son of a bitch? <laughs> um, so, so that's just kind of how it came to be. Just talking with skaters and the stories, like because I would, I love like Olson, like yes. you know, when Olson was on oh this show, I was like, he's the best, yeah, you know. And I used to get watch him and DP and just let them go and listen to the fucking stories, yeah. And it was phenomenal. Exactly, I love a good story for sure. That's so great. So, so I, I was, I just, um, I'm a fan. I'm yeah. a fan of of our ilk of our community there you go and and there's a lot i don't know i mean i don't know shit about you guys yeah i don't know anything about you guys. <laughs> right yeah, kelly really? doesn't know anything about you huh? where's your where's your yeah. ipad with your oh, fucking it's right there oh, there it is <laughs> yeah, yeah he knows about that yeah, yeah. yeah. that's I've, all you need to know yeah, i've seen it 10 that's billion all you need times to know. <laughs> yeah right and you know that, hey that, take it from me man you need one in the back of you too yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what am i doing what am i going to be doing <laughs> You got a good trick in there. Uh, um, so so anyway, I just I, I wanted to <laughs> yeah. jump around. You know, just kind of yeah, exactly. I, somebody just posted something on Instagram that I'd never seen because you know I, people post things like from demos from way back that they had the disposable totally, camera or whatever, yeah. some camera, and I'm like, ah, oh, wow, and it brings jogs these memories. Like 
I kind of remember that one. That's right. crazy. That was blah, 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 blah. It's pretty neat. Because yeah. so people have these pieces of your history that you're not totally. aware of. Totally. it comes into being, and you're like, wow. It's with Stacy in the background, too, on the mic. And I'm jump ramping. Like, no. Wow. You know, and he's just back there. And you're like, oh, and wow. And that's what's rad that's about social pretty, media, too, is you that, would have never, ever, ever seen yeah. that. I've hit people up. I'm like, oh, do you have any more photos from this day? And they yeah. They, you know. So post them and I was like fuck it's so rad because to me it was almost like a different time mm-hmm. like it's I'm removed from it you know yeah. it's, it's really strange it was like wow that happened wild you know I can I can kind of look at it more objectively yeah or, or, yeah and and it's it's trippy because it's almost like someone else's life yeah it's it was weird it's very surreal that all that actually happened so it's it's interesting that's so. a that's a trip when you when you sit down back and see those photos and, yeah. and analyze it and see you know yeah see it's, all the well stuff. It's, it's really cool because people comment oh you know I met you so and so and you were really kind and da 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 and I was like oh sh- I wasn't a dick that <laughs> awesome. that's my worst fear of like you know I, I, I seriously like I, I well Javante I Turner was, yeah. thought you were a dick <laughs> yeah. what did he say he I said, didn't want he, it he said he, he said oh oh you Tommy Guerrero and stuff yeah he was a dick. Yeah, that's so funny. What a what a jerk! I gave him board. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. You. Wait, dude, Jim, Javante, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, let's have a talk. Oh, uh, good times. No, so that's like the one thing that I'm always. That's amazing. Have. I'm like, okay, I wasn't a jerk. When you guys were doing the uh, Bones Brigade documentary, was it crazy to kind of like remember all that? Yeah, because well, people would have different. You know the way you perceive things, recollection, right? Yeah. Of of what happened or mm-hmm. or what went down in stories, and so it, it does help jog the memory of like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. We did do that. Yeah. So it was. It's pretty interesting. Um, you know, there's all the stories, the one with McGill and all that, and, and yeah, and it was what happened with McGill. He he, the way he perceives it and the way we perceive oh. it. You know, and it was uh, totally different. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, I. I it was kind of projected onto him by like, you know, it was, it was a funny, it was just a funny thing. Yeah. Okay. It was a funny Come thing. Come on, McGill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, a, we were in France. Okay. And our distributor gave us some hash. Okay. And, you know, Mike is, you know, pretty, pretty straight laced. Mm-hmm. And so we smoked some hash. He's like, oh, what does that stuff do? It's like, oh, well, it does this and this. And we're with, uh, you know, one of our TMs. And mm-hmm. um, so... He tried it. Okay. Right? He mm-hmm. never tried <laughs> marijuana or hash. And, you know, he's straight laced. And yeah. so he, he he tried it, took a hit. He's like, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> you know, like, you know, people who do that, well, not, nothing's happening. Uh, right. They keep hitting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something will happen. So then, so then Stevie's egging him on. Well, no, you got to hit it harder. Huh? You got to do this. Oh, and so no. Stevie really egged it on, right? Like, he kind of egged it on. And then and then next thing you know, Mike's really stoned. We're yeah. all really stoned. <laughs> yeah. And we're laughing our asses off. And it's a funny, it's a total funny thing, right? And he's like, oh, man, what the fuck? What, what the fuck happened? You know, he was kind of getting paranoid yeah. and we're just we're, it was it was funny it was a funny scene so then the next day we go hop the train and we go to get to our demo okay there's a sh- the thing is so there's a shitty ramp one of them one of them i remember is like in an auditorium it's indoors on this like eight foot wide shitty ramp like really sh- fucked up setup and of course it's this was at the time when mcgill was doing the mctwist yeah and all that you anyone wanted to see twist, was twist 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 <laughs> exactly <laughs> So poor Mike is put under this heavy pressure to skate this piece of shit ramp to do a fucking 540 on. <laughs> and he was high the night before. Yeah. yeah. So he, so we go to this demo and he doesn't pull it, right? He couldn't pull it. Doesn't do the mix twist and he's fucking bummed. And That's then, his shit so, though, right? Like he could do that. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, the, the conditions okay. were Couldn't so poor yeah. that it was, it was like, dude, you have to be a superhuman to fucking do it on right. this ramp, right? Okay. Back then okay. when he, when he's still refining it, I mean, you know, this has only been a probably couple years maybe not even that okay that it's really happening so the next demo we get to same thing happens though he can't pull the 540 oh no so then at this point like stevie recognizes it and he starts dude you, you killed your 540 brain cells <laughs> you, killed, you killed your mctwist brain cells dude i don't know man i think he did and, and mike's just getting paranoid and getting bummed out and he and stevie's like and then so we all you know jump in and yeah, Mike, I think you might have killed oh, your, your no. 540 brain cells, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I, you know, it, it was just, it was really funny. And so, like the third demo happened, I think he still didn't pull it. Oh man! So it just, it just got, it really got kind of pushed in in a direction that was just humorous. Was for us. he and, starting and, and, and to believe it? And a total bummer for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was he starting to yeah, believe no, it, or was, was he, he like was, he was starting to believe it? Yeah, that he did something that by you know smoking hash fucked him up i mean forever like right. you know which it will 
I mean, uh, you smoke it enough of it for X, you know, right, right, time. Right, sure. right. It's well, one time. Fry, the, it's going to fry your eggshell. In pear yeah. in France. Yeah, no, know, no, of course not. Yeah. Of course not. But it was, it was just a funny thing like that, so that friends do to each other that, you know, right, you do yeah. that shit. Right. You give each other tons of shit because you're with each other for months on oh end my God. all the time. And so you're trying to figure out how to fuck with each other the entire time. <laughs> yeah. How can we fuck with this, dude? How can we fuck with it? You know, you wake up, your hands, you know, glued <laughs> to your head, you're written on, you have the... And, Endless, right? Would you guys totally. prank one another a lot? Endless, huh? Would you guys prank one another a lot? Not so, not so much with with those guys. We we were pretty cool to each other, but yeah. it happened, you know. It mm-hmm. happened, but it definitely. It yeah. Who would get time. you the most? Did you have a, a, a arch enemy? No, I no, didn't, not not so much. Okay, not so much. Uh, yeah. I think I, I did it to myself so much. It was like ah, this you guy just. just you know. <laughs> so there's a yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, you know. I'm, uh, it's just totally beating myself God. into the ground. So what like, great, yeah, it's fine. What great time. No, what a great was. era and everything with those dudes and stuff. Wow. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Always being on the road with, with those guys. Lance was always a good time. He's, oh, yeah, he's the funniest. He's yeah. the best. He was always great. And, you know, he skates harder than anyone. Right. He'll kill himself. Oh. Yeah. And let me tell you this story about touring real quick. Yeah, real quick. please, yeah. please. It's uh, when we're in the van. And I, I forget who was driving, but it, me and Jim and Mike V are in back. And me and Jim, you know, we had a, we were fucking ritual. Like Jim would tape his ankles, you know, every single demo he with, still does, with duct tape. He? Mm-hmm. When he skates, probably. Wow. With duct tape. He'd, so so at, at every end of the day, Jim would cut his socks off. So he'd have a brand new, he'd buy a brand new pair of socks every day. So he'd have to have new socks. So we'd ta- duct tape his ankles up. First, we'd tiger bomb everything, right? <laughs> so we had tiger bomb. Mike V, <laughs> Mike V didn't know what tiger bomb was at that time. No. He didn't know. So we're sitting back there, you know, basically fucking, you know, showering <laughs> with the shit. And and Mike's like, what's that shit? You know, tough guy, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, it's this Tiger Bomb. He's like, what's that shit do? It's like, oh, well, it warms it up and, you know, it it's, feels really good, right? You know, it's, it's uh, and uh, it helps with, you know, yeah, exactly. It's an analgesic and uh, it's a pain relieving ointment. <laughs> so, so you know, he's like, what is that shit? You know, and uh, it's, it it heats up and, and it helps loosen, loosen the joints, loosen the muscles a bit, gets in there, right? Creates right. some warmth which enables you to move better mm-hmm. etc bullshit you're like okay put some on your balls Uh-oh. i'll put some on no. my balls but, oh yeah i'll put some on my balls give me that shit you know because mike's a tough guy right and so and so he fucking grabs somebody puts them on his puts you know wraps them on his balls and me and jim are just like oh, <laughs> cracking the fuck up. and you know how it takes a minute right yeah. Oh, oh yeah to kick in and so he's just in the what what it's i didn't feel nothing this ain't shit Whatever, you know, and then seconds, you know, it's a little bit past, a little bit past. We're just like sitting it's waiting, <laughs> kind of waiting. We know it's yeah. coming. And he's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, he's just fucking freaking out. We're in the van and we're like, we're not pulling over anywhere. We're, you're not going to wash your balls. Right. It's like <laughs> You're going to sit there and you're going to suffer. Oh, it was, oh, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was so good. Uh, just those little things like on road trips that you remember. It's totally. So wow. rad. Was he trying so, to wipe it off? Yeah, and, just and try he's to probably do, getting it everywhere, yeah, making, making it, it worse, worse yeah. you know? Wow. Yeah, it was pretty funny. God, imagine the stench in that van. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jim socks. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. no you, dude, like five dudes who haven't showered in how long? Like skating every day? <laughs> Rubbing Tiger Bomb all over. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Funky. And no wonder why we got no girls on tour. <laughs> No girls. <laughs> you would nah, have nah. to get it some. Nah, uh, nah. Weren't there, there uh, you know, skate, it, it was, skate girl? There yeah. was, there was, but it was always, if you're anywhere, if you're in a hundred mile radius of mm-hmm. Christian soy, you're, that's you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just forget it. If you're at a contest in Christian's there, it's, you, forget it. Just forget it. No, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You're, you're, you know, if, if you, you're, you might have to go to the store and get a Playboy or something if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, no, it just didn't, it didn't happen. And then next in line's like Stevie. Yeah, and then, oh. and then after that's like Tony. Okay, <laughs> you know? right. There's a line going yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's a hierarchy to it for yeah. sure. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm I'm under the totem. I'm like, you know, I'm under the you're, barrel. You're buried. Yeah. No, I'm the, under the barrel. Yeah. I'm not even at the bottom. I'm just like, what's under? Uh, fuck no. Nah. Yeah. So no, I, I it wasn't. Uh, that wasn't my forte. Man, you guys must have had a but great fun. We we did. Know? We had a, we had a lot of a lot of good road. Uh, time on the road at mm-hmm. one time where I was with Rodney and this is early on when we had uh, George's Country Squire and I was with Rodney and Rodney's driving and we're listening to Ingve Malmsteen and I think I think Adrian Demain was asleep in back and I'm in the front seat and it's pitch black in the middle of nowhere on small roads mm-hmm. and it's pouring rain 
and we're he's we're just you know we're talking about the the uh, existence of God or a God or something. Oh wow! Yeah, just yeah, like yeah, deep, deep theological yeah. discussion happening while listening to like Ingve <laughs> <laughs> in the pouring rain in the south. That turns out we are driving like four hours in the wrong direction <laughs> in the middle of the oh, night. Oh man! Yeah. Oh. oh, it was so funny because he. What did you have back then? You had a map, yeah, Thomas yeah. Guide or something, yeah, you know? right. And we're newbies to this, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I never even had a car, and so it was like, oh shit, and you guys we, are we, driving we, yourselves around. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, no, no, we dri- no, we were driving ourselves at that point. Wow, yeah, it was pretty rad. Wow. So it's just those, those moments in time, man. It was just like, wow. I, I just have these glimpses of, of moments of just like, oh my god, that was ridiculous. I, I can't believe that even happened. The whole thing with Rodney, like you know, like running off into the woods and disappearing and and stuff. Oh, he would run off. Well, d- there was from the bones thing. Yeah, you know, we talked about that. Like, oh. There was one time when he just freaked out. He couldn't be in the car anymore, and he's like, oh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Pull over, pull over. And he's bent over, and we're like, what the fuck's wrong with Rod? And and. uh we pull over and he gets out and he takes off just right place. off into the woods and we're in the we're in the backwoods like of nowhere and seriously like and he just takes off and we're just all sitting in the car watching him <laughs> <laughs> like what that goes rodney nobody no went but, after him no or? but what are you gonna do chase rodney he, <laughs> the whole time the whole time guy we, lost his mind we, he's running we into figured the... out that the whole, he was kind of hunched over in the back and like a, he's putting on running shoes Oh, he, he had like some running, shit. yeah, yeah. He had like some running shoes or something with him. Some, and he's putting on these shoes, and and then he gets up and he bolts. And yeah, he's gone. And we, so we waited. Like we went to a, a, a store, like <laughs> found a corner store or something, or you know, and just sat there, and for I don't know how long, a couple hours or something. No and that long? Yeah, yeah. And he comes walking up. <laughs> Feels, you know, he's fine now. Did you say hey, guy, hey, like, guy, yeah, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> happened? hey, Rodney. You're like ready to go. You good? <laughs> Got to get to this demo. <laughs> Yeah, so crazy. That's great, because you know Rod, Rodney's a unique creature. Yeah. Totally. I mean, on all levels. And oh so, yeah. You know, he just he needed a moment. I bet you guys had some interesting conversations. <laughs> well, me and Jim, when me and Jim would tour with him, mm-hmm. it was fucking incredible. We we would learn like thirty tricks a day. Oh really? Like, oh yeah. Me and Jim had so many different flat ground tricks. At one point, it was crazy. We would go back to the San Francisco, like because they would block off Golden Gate Park on Sundays, and okay. so everyone would go there and do flat ground, and oh. we'd bring a little quarter pipe out and jump ramps. And so me and Jim would just do. You could do these lines of flat ground tricks for literally just like twenty tricks in a row. Wow. Like, you that know, little fun. goofy little tricks, yeah. just from seeing Rodney. You know, just from sitting and skating with Rodney, going, "Oh, what's that one? Yeah. What's that one? You know, you do a half cab flip, grab the nose, twist between your legs. You're like, what's that? What? You know, yeah, just wild shit wow and yeah me and Jim had all kinds of crazy lines all That's, kinds of crazy little flatland tricks must have been great having him fun. around to learn all that stuff oh, too oh fuck yeah you know yeah. shit oh, yeah he would shut demos down too though like it's like okay we're gonna do our thing and then Rodney would come out and it was just like there's the show yeah. <laughs> you guys would sit down the also closer. too yeah seriously yeah of course that must have been so inc- I couldn't imagine like learning flat ground tricks but not even just learning but like not even seeing them before oh yeah, yeah. Like, totally. I couldn't What's even that? imagine that yeah. I never I, to see a new flat ground trick now doesn't you, you've seen everything by now yeah, yeah you know? you've seen it's all variations now yeah. yeah and that must have been really fun oh it was it was just <laughs> mind blowing yeah. like, what the fuck is that <laughs> It was it was incredible. Was he, it, he would just put on a fucking show, and to, for him to teach you too, I'm sure it was very precise instructions. Well, it, no, you know? it, it wasn't like that. It was like no. we would skate together, oh, and you would so, just and we would try just to steal, emulate. We would just steal his tricks. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, you would just, just walk around and, okay. and replicate it pretty much. Yeah, you would yeah. just you'd try. You know, yeah, you would yeah. say, "Oh, that's a rad one," and then there's something like, "I can't. This, no, I'm not. Doing the, I can't do that. Yeah. I'll never be able to do that." So yeah. forget that one. Let's move to the next. Yeah, no, it was it was really. Ah, Rodney, man, he was just—he's such a force. He's incredible. It's, it, he was so far advanced, though. Yeah, like beyond everyone. Uh, you watch yeah. those videos when he started riding the wider boards, and you're like, "Oh, he started all this, fucker." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the the BS with TG yeah. though, what? Because uh, you you. You don't do them every week like we do. You do no. them once in a while. Do you even have a schedule, or no, do you just we, kind of we whatever? Did, we had a schedule for for a bit, and then you know. Deluxe gets so busy and we only have a couple filmers and Mm -hmm. to, and you know, who can edit as well, you know, and to create content. And it's much more important that we get footage of a shot than me bullshitting with fucking (laughs) Nicky Reyes. It's great. I love it. You know, you know, know, like, you know, it's priority. I mean, it's just just the truth of the matter. They need to switch the priority. So it's, uh, (laughs) we got, we got one coming up with Joe Brooke. Joe Brooke. That's amazing. That's a good guy. Yeah. Joe's the best. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Oh man. 
Yeah, you got to keep one. doing it, man. Please don't yeah. stop Thanks. and try to get them out quicker. I mean, it would be great to just at least once a month, you know, to be able to do it. Totally. It would be cool. Yeah. And like you said, the scheduling is difficult. And then mm -hmm. also, you know, there's no there's no budget. It's like, it's right. like you know, yeah. I came down here and, you know, did not us in dressing when I was here one time. And okay. so, you know, just trying to do that, like, okay, I can go down there and who can I, you know, get, you know, easily and then yeah. go, go up north or something. And, yeah. and that sucks but, too, bringing it on the road. That's hard. You yeah, know? Com completely. Yeah. But we have a guy down here. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah okay, who, perfect. Who's a filmer. So it works oh, yeah. out. That, that's how it works out because otherwise it wouldn't. Because right. you can't, I'm not going to bring anyone with me yeah. like to film. It'd yeah. be like iPhone. It'd be like, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. That's what right, it's going right, to come down right. to. Do you enjoy so, doing that? Do you enjoy uh, I do. sitting down and talking I do. to people? I, and... I do enjoy like converse, having these conversations with mm -hmm. people and, and getting, you know, getting into the meat of things, though. You know, yeah. learning about Hensley and what he had went through and his struggles was fucking gnarly. You're right. Like, oh, wow. I had no idea. Yeah. Like, he was, it was, you know, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Well, it's cool, too, because when you do these shows and stuff, like I, like some of my good friends that I've been on month-long tours will sit down here and I'll learn shit that I never even knew. Totally. You know? Of course. Which is rad. Yeah, of course, because we, we all are keeping shit. <laughs> Right, you know, yeah, yeah. bottled up, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to some degree, you're like, ah, I'm not sure if I'm letting that one out there. Well, you just never ask them <laughs> this shit, you know. Yeah. You don't even ask them yeah. like, what was your first board or what? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, there's, but and that's the thing, like these type of things. You're like, where, when did you start skateboarding? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. What was your first board? Yeah. What, yeah. Like, <sighs> the standard questions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, and, you making which, you which making fun fine. of me, Thomas? <laughs> you making fun of me? That's kind of my shtick. No. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I. What was your first board? I have to ask. My I first, have to ask now. What my was your first board ever? It was given to me. My first board that I ever wrote had steel wheels on it, and somebody had oh, made shit. it with like out of a countertop. It had like a plastic formica top on it, and it was roller skate wheels, steel wheels. Yeah. And then my actual board that somebody gave me because he wasn't into it was a friend at school. It was a black knight. You know that board? Yeah, it has a black knight on it, clay wheels. Oh, it's like this big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I, I grew. I was. You know the. Do you know the parts in the uh, in the video? I think Animal Chin or one of them where we're going down the hill and i'm doing all the little different grabs and it's going down up the, mm. off the little bumps oh, yeah, off the bump. yeah, yeah yeah um so i grew up on that hill so that was the first you know you go to the top of the hill with a skateboard and you're like going down Here the hill we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right it's like it not it, if you had it was a big wheel sure it would have been a big wheel yeah, i don't give a fuck right. i'm going down that hill oh man so that's what it was but with clay wheels Oh, so fucking sketchy. Yeah. So I ate shit a bunch of times, you know. What was um, it? What was sketchy about the clay the wheels? Like, what was the? Uh, have you heard? Of, have you heard of urethane? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grow up in the seventeenth century. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But you had to get to fighting the dragons to get to your skateboard first. Like, you know, and, and the, you know, so you know, the chainmail weighed a lot. Chain you know, mail. The Morning Star. Wow. <laughs> Motherfucker. The know. whole wow. You really did pull the yeah, sword no, out, I, of the, I, out of the I, stone. I did. Huh? I did. Yeah. No, but seriously though, the what, like it, the it, clay, there's, there's just no traction. No yeah. traction. None. No. No. Did they break apart at yeah, all? They, they, oh, yeah, they did. They did disintegrate. Yeah, okay. but but what happened was like, so I had this board, and we lived on the hill, and then we moved up to the other hill, and mm -hmm. so it was a steeper hill, and um, we were out front, and there was um, uh, a trolley car goes by the street, and so I, I bailed off my board, and it. <laughs> So I can't believe how it made it. I mean, this is a Black Knight clay wheels and it stayed on its fucking wheels all the way down this, like halfway down this hill, clunk, 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 out into the street, right into the train tracks, perfectly stopped. And there was a bus coming by as and Judah and it just snapped the fucking board in half. And the two pieces went oh. flying and my heart fucking broke to pieces. Oh no. I was fucking way. so bummed. You could, I was devastated because because we didn't have a lot of money and we the reason why we had moved from where we lived down mm -hmm. the block we moved in with my aunt and my uncle and my cousins was because i came home one day and there was a lock on the door that said evicted oh, I was no like, as a little kid and i'm like evicted i get i i get it i don't quite know the definition of the word but i get it because i can't get into my fucking house wow. <laughs> you know i was a latchkey kid so i came home from school at seven or eight maybe okay so um so we moved up there and so we're up on the other hill. So my board went all the way down right into the tracks and just snapped in half. And Damn. I, that was, I was just fucking devastated. So my mom knew, seen like how, you know, me and my brother were so stoked and mm -hmm. so into skateboarding that she figured out how to, how to get us some boards, a couple, okay. you know, like next level up, which is like a fiberglass board with Excalibur trucks and like California roller wheels or some <laughs> shit, you know, like <laughs> urethane -y, you know, more plastic than urethane, yeah. you know, but it was like, ooh, these are fucking killer, you know. And how old were you, 83 at was, the time? I, I was nine. Okay. <laughs> 90. 90? Yeah. 
it was a zero on that. <laughs> yeah, so I was I was nine around when I started skating, and wow. so and so it just it just went from there. Yeah, and I was like, my mom seen how we were really into it. It kept us out of trouble. She's raising two boys there on her go. own in the city, and she mm. was like, ah, uh-huh, I see. Yeah, you know, they got the bug for this thing. So she just figured out how to always have uh, some kind of skateboard under our feet. Right, and it most of the time it was like plastic banana boards and just yeah. whatever but still that yeah. got that that fulfilled yeah, yeah. your uh, your need Completely. you know yeah fuck yeah right what was the first legit what was the first real first, board you had um had my name on it <laughs> <laughs> uh good question because it was really it kind of fluctuated like i remember getting this that fiberglass board with these mm-hmm. year thing was it was more like the surfboard you know like surf skateboard yeah. kind of look you know yeah. mm-hmm. And then we got, and then for Christmas, we got these plastic boards that were like this, like concave, okay. but like really exaggerated nose and tail. The, t- the nose was super pointy, square tail. And it was like this, we called it the Arabian shoe because you ever seen like, a, yeah. you know, oh, just like, kind of, they, yeah, 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 like, like a boat. Yeah. 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 All right. And so it looked like that and it was, it was just a piece, you know? Weird. And so we're like, so it kind of fluctuated like up and down. And then I think, I don't know, maybe my f- my first real board i can't remember might have been like a santa cruz you know oh like maybe okay a fiber flex or something santa cruz board it's hard it's hard to say this is like 78 maybe at this point Mm. 77 when i got an actual skateboard okay so it you know it's difficult but i but i rode a lot of santa cruz boards i always when steve olsen had his board that was it i was like yeah i was a huge steve olsen fan oh huge steve olsen oh i love yeah i love that board but I just, uh, he, yeah, he, fuck, he was, With you know. the SOS board or was no, it no, before the, that? Yeah, yeah, the Santa Cruz boards. Mm, oh, the Santa Cruz Yeah, when board, they had okay. the checkers with the circle and yes. the signature. And the, yes. But there was, these ones they would do with the rainbow, like, uh, 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 circle for the black checkers on wood stain. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, straight heat. So he was a big influence on you yeah, skateboarding those, and stuff. those guys were, yeah, because when we go to the skate parks, we'd see certain people at times, like mm-hmm. Blackheart, like, I'd met Blackheart way back then, and okay. Blackheart was just a fucking ripper, you know, oh. um, and just a f- beyond character. Okay. And uh, and then, you know, Ols- Olsen and DP, just all those guys. Like, we were more like the NorCal mm-hmm. like, you right. know, kind of dudes. Right. Um, and so, you know, Santa Cruz being in our backyard, we just naturally were just gravitated towards that. So yes. a lot of us were Santa Cruz stuff. And plus you were seeing it around, so. Yeah, which was a yeah, good, of yeah. course. I mean, but then you had, like, your heroes. You're like, you know. Dwayne when he fucking bleached his hair and it was like a flat top and he you know spike wristbands you're just like fuck like yeah. a badass yeah the best yeah like fucking ruling was there anybody like out that uh, out of your zone that you were really looked up to I think just my brother you know yeah? I think really okay. it was like you know because I you know you always want to be like your big brother there you and go. he and he ripped yeah so it was just like I think that's probably what pushed me any any competition skating between you would you guys yeah, try to there learn were, tricks there were times, yeah no not learning tricks necessarily okay. but like get the fuck out of here you know he's a big brother he's like ah, I'm fucking over you he's like beat it <laughs> Oh, you know. you're trying to follow him around. Yeah, yeah. Do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom made him take me everywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, fucking trouble. <laughs> yeah. So I got so I got in a lot of shit really early on. That's like when because we started skating around seventy five, uh-huh. and then we got into punk rock around seventy eight, seventy nine. When we seen the Ramones play for free at City Hall in San Francisco, and it just changed my fucking world. Oh wow! Like, Whoa! This what the fuck? All these weirdos, you know, <laughs> dyed hair, bleach hair, like the you know, you know the the attire, everything like punk fucking fat. And you're like, whoa, what, what is this? And that was it. Oh, wow. So that's when we just like, we're starting a band. We're fucking punk rock. Yeah. hundred percent. Were you good? No. No. <laughs> totally, totally sucked. You don't have to be good to play punk rock. I was a singer originally, which is funny. And Bryce was on bass, BK. Okay. And then my brother was on drums at that point And then a guitar. So then he switched to guitar and then I switched to bass. And then we went and Shrugi, you know Shrugi, Steve Shrugi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a singer for our band Revenge. He was a best fucking front man. Because he's a character, you know, if you really oh, yeah. know Shrugi. Yeah. And he's super sharp-witted. Okay. So he was the fucking best. He was, oh my, he was hell on wheels. We played, when then we went from Revenge and we went to Free Beer. And, and, and he, then we had a different singer. And my brother was on guitar. We had a different drummer and another guitarist. But anyway, but he was still like part of our crew. Mm-hmm. So we played with Fear at the Elite Club in San Francisco, which is actually the Fillmore. But when the Fillmore kind of closed down, it started having punk shows under oh. the name of the Elite Club. And this is 82, maybe 81, 80, maybe 82. We played with Fear. So we bought a bunch of generic beer. Do you remember? I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember the generic just says products. Beer. Yeah. yeah, just okay. said beer. So we get a Sharpie and we wrote free above it. 
for like oh. free beer. So we got a case of this shit and we start playing and Shrugies in the back hucking these beers <laughs> at people in full the crowd. cans. <laughs> Fucking full cans, just like baseball style. Like, wow. just winging them out there and I'm like, oh, we're going to get fucking <laughs> murdered here. Come back, yeah. Like 300 people there, you know. It was, it was, yeah, they're coming back. Just everything. Oh, it wow. was, oh yeah, it was fucking chaos. And there was big fight. Skinhead showed up later and no oh yeah, it was a big Hey, scene. at least they got their but, free beer though. But we, it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They did. And we played with fear and then fear was incredible. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So, so anyway, that, that like skateboarding and punk rock mm-hmm. at that time went hand in hand. So it was an attitude thing, you know, you're like, fuck everything. So when right. you're skating and you're, you know, like, don't skate it, fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that full on, like right. all of it, just like fuck you. When like, you were going on up. tour, though, how how were you like? Because ju- it sounded like you were well, juggling music with skating. Yeah, and- well, once once all that actually happened, I mean, once after Free Beer's last show was in '84 with suicidal tendencies and angry Whoa. Samoans. Yeah, Damn. In, in the city in '84. That was our last show. Okay. So so I didn't turn pro to '85. Um, so that was a good timing thing. Like I got on, mm. just getting on Powell and, and we stopped playing and then 85 a trim pro and then traveling okay. and all that kind of came into being. And so I would, I would still play when I could. And even I would hook up with Chuck Treese back in Philly when we would, when we would tour mm-hmm. and we would, we would uh, rent a studio and just jam for the night. Oh, seriously? Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So me and I've known Chuck for man forever 35 wow. years and when did you guys start making well because you, you you do a lot of solo you solo stuff yeah. like all the albums we have here yeah. um but you did you guys put out any albums uh, as a group no, no. Not, not until a few you know a handful of years ago with black okay. top project which is me ray barbie matt rodriguez wow and uh, chuck trees and my buddy josh now who Sick. plays who plays with me but chuck is on this record He's, he plays some drums on that. Okay. Record. Yeah. Soul Food uh, Tuckeria. That's it. Yeah. I'm amazed that you have that. That's a reissue? Probably. That's awesome. Thanks. They went really quick. The reissues are way better than the original issues. So. What, why? Just because the, of the he- remastered? Vinyl, okay. He- remastered, gatefold. It's it's a rad product. These guys in Be With Records in, uh, in, in London. Oh, re- re- oh, really? We issued them, yeah. So they're imports, too, and I apologize oh. for anything that bought any. They're really expensive, but I had nothing well, to do Raj, with it. how much you spend on that? <laughs> I, I had a nightclub it. card. <laughs> huh? Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. We're, hey, we'll it's return a, that we'll out We'll have them the shine show. and then we'll eBay them. Yeah, it's oh, all there you go. Go. Hold yeah. on to them for a little bit, and then you can, because <laughs> they made a limited amount. And, oh, they did? And they went like that, yeah. Because oh. this is Steve Powers did the art, Espo. Okay. And then Margaret Kilgallen did the art on that. Man. And just for the art, people collect them. What a great feeling, though, is that your music's selling out, and and you're very well, successful doing that. No, no, no. Come on, no, bro. No, there's no, there's no success in it. Yeah, but no you, one pays for music. You know, no one buys music. No one. There's. I bought one of your songs. I bought one of your songs. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. But, and that, and that, <laughs> you got 33 and cents get, for it. No, not even. You, you get like pennies, maybe. Streaming is point. Zero zero one one percent per seriously per play wow. or something. So you have a million plays. It rounds out to be I think eleven or twelve hundred dollars. That's maybe. it. That's it. On the, you're talking about like Spotify, Spotify and stuff yeah. like that, and that's how everyone's consuming music though now, streaming. Yeah. So it's so it's really difficult for artists. To but make at the same time though, work. like if I was streaming on Spotify and I liked your music, I would go buy your songs on. I it's kind of like the stepping stone, it, maybe. It could be. Yeah, depends on the person. Okay. A lot I feel of like people, everyone uses Spotify. Now. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot really? Of, yeah. Can you just people. type in like yeah, yeah. Tommy and Sp- God? I don't use Spotify, listen. but yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Same Pandora and all that stuff. Yeah. You could just listen, and so no. So you're like, why would I pay for it? Interesting. I still pay for. I still buy. I like to have my shit on my phone so I could play I, I do too you know what I mean yeah. yeah how do you feel about the digital oh. stuff uh, rather than I'm, like I'm not records a, I'm not an audiophile no I'm, I'm like it's same thing with video and stuff it's like if the content is there okay then fucking killer. I don't care if it's recorded okay. on, you know, so you're not a, on your iPhone. You're not like yeah. a vinyl guy or no, an MP3 guy. I, I'm, I'm not. No? I mean, MP3s okay. are diminish the quality for sure there because you go. they cut out a lot of frequencies. Right. Just like anything compressed, right? Mm-hmm. Video, Pretty everything. You, you lose a lot of the yeah. its integrity. But but is, there's certain things now that's been reissued that you never had access to and you could just download it. It's on your phone. And you're like, fuck, I just want yeah. the music. Yeah. Right. I don't care about the medium. Yeah. You know? I, I really don't. Okay. People but, listen to it like on YouTube. I don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's oh, it's so terrible. On the, on, <laughs> yeah. uh, little little speakers. It's, it's really, yeah, it's bad. But you know, whatever. However, I guess people are into it because it's still it's still there. It's inspiring. There's more kids playing music now than ever. Mm-hmm. Which, right. really which is killer. Music. Yeah, which which is great though. But. I mean, um, but it's so, rad though to see your records here with the artwork yeah, and no, everything. I'm, and I'm a tangible person, so it, I, I appreciate it more. Yeah. But the thing is, who has time to actually put on a record and listen to it and then go over and flip it and then? Who it even has a record player? 
Yeah, I do. I have two of them. Oh, you but, do? Yeah, of course. That's where they're all. Of course, at. I yeah. Do. There are a lot of people that but, like are really into that stuff. That no, they, shitload of uh, records. I have. And everything. I have thousands. Yeah, and they're, they in, and they're yeah. all sitting in the basement. I, I gave eight hundred to my buddy Orb Matt, to the skaters' homes huh? when I moved. <laughs> And so, you know, I was like, I got to get, I got to get rid of them. I just like, they're just sitting and, oh you know, so, there's some rare stuff and there's some really good stuff, right. and, but it's just like, ah. it's, it's, it's like, if I move ever again, I'm like torch straight up, <laughs> yeah. like good night. Burn to the ground. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm over it. I'm not think, carrying it. Yeah. Cause it's like when I look at these album covers and if I was looking at them on my phone, it, it's not the same. Not like I wouldn't yeah. even look at the birds flying over there or the you know what i mean like yeah the telephone on it would just i would just be a photo that I yeah would no it, at it's almost, very, it's very know? different and, yeah. and i think humans are very we're social creatures mm -hmm. we like to interact we're very tangible there you we, go. We, we want things that exist yeah regardless because that's by nature mm -hmm. we, yeah. we were not escaping that and so yeah. i think it makes sense that people have gotten into vinyl again especially young people it makes total sense you know cassette tapes are back in and so wow, I, I think yeah. it's i think it's really cool um you can't it's like where is it yeah, what, yeah does yeah. it fucking exist yeah you can't see it you can't touch it you can't smell it right does it exist so it's it's um it's an interesting time totally yeah totally especially as a musician it's oh yeah it's interesting. Real quick, did you have you yeah. saved all your old boards and stuff? Do I do. Have I, have, I yeah. have one, at least one board of every board. One wow. of everything. Of Powell through Real. Was there yeah. anything that you yeah. you I missed think. and you had to go re-look for? Yeah. No, you saved it. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I'm a fucking hoarder. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I was taking off the, the VIP band for Tony Hawk's 50th birthday last night, and I, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, is there anything on here that says I Tony? Should and save like, it. Yeah, you know, Lance did for sure. I, yeah. I guarantee it. Didn't Seriously. Lance throw a bunch of his stuff in his pool? He's, Oh yeah, dude, that guy's got he's got Steve Did he, he what, Stevie's Rush? braid like from, from <laughs> yeah. you remember the he's Thrasher like, cover of the front side invert in the pool and he Stevie has like braids. Yeah. He has he like one of those yeah. braids. He has like a pieces of Solomon's cast. He has a, he's he, Whoa. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Lance is the best. But rumor has it like so. when he moved out of his place, whatever, he put a bunch of his stuff in his pool and buried his pool. Oh, I didn't hear about that. That's what, what I heard. I bet. I'm, That's a weird one. That's yeah. a huge time capsule. Yeah, yeah. totally. Doesn't so he after. have like some sort of Instagram where he sells stuff? Yeah. What is he does? It, which one is that? I can't remember. But, but he, he has a lot he of does. cool stuff on there. It's oh, like, it's it, a Mountain yeah. Manor or something like that. He, or? En endless. The dude has. Endless so you must shirt. have. So shirts, I just, I just, yeah, I just, sold, I actually just sold a bunch of t-shirts. I'm oh, trying to you? divest because. It's, I, I don't know what to do with it all. I was going through, I have boxes of t-shirts of just like different stuff, old skate shirts. Uh -huh. I had some old Powell shirts that I just sold. Okay. You know, there's collectors out there that- uh, Die you, for those. Yeah, they pay too much money. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, thank you. Give me some of that. They just want a piece of it, yeah. <laughs> but, it but it got to a point, there was one that I sold to a Japanese cat and, mm -hmm. it was be, and he just really want, I was like, oh, I can't, I can't justify holding on to a t-shirt right. for how much this guy wants to pay me for it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it came to that. It's like up and up and up. And I'm like, wow. everything has a breaking point. There you, like, go. you know, yeah. seriously, it's like, yeah, it's not worth that. But Man. somebody wants. But at least it's in good but hands, though. Somebody appreciate it, yeah. And yeah. I don't. I'm. I, I'm a sentimental fucker, which is a yeah. bummer. So I have a hard time letting go of shit. Okay. You know. Um. So that's why I think I've held on to so much stuff. Right. Um. But I'm trying. I'm trying right now, like to to certain things. Like, like let I stuff go. Let, let go. I'm a skate fan. Yeah. I mean, I, I am. Right. You know, I watch the skateboarding on the internet all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the huh? time. Yeah. What are your thoughts on skateboarding going to the Olympics? <sighs> <laughs> It's fraught with so many issues. <laughs> um, I, but someone that like okay, to compete all, back in the day. I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't, but I'm, I don't feel like skateboarding is a sport at all. Right. Not one bit. What would you categorize it as? It's a, it's a lifestyle. Okay. It's like, it's a way you exist within, within the confines of how this fucking world is set up, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Because yep. we live outside of that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's our own thing. Totally. It's it's a mutant of society. Okay. You know, yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, it's yeah. like, what, what do you do when you, back then when oh you told me you're a professional skater, they're like, what? Like, <laughs> what is, well, I don't even know what that is. I yeah. don't know what you mean by that. And you're like, I'm, I, <laughs> I skateboard I for a living. Right. <laughs> is there any money in it? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just got ten thousand dollar check <laughs> and a twenty five dollar yeah. check. Yeah, and, yeah. A, and, and a twenty five yeah. <laughs> for my shoe sponsor. Within the context of the Olympics, what mm -hmm. the only way I could see it if if it's like 
downhill slalom you time go. trialed stuff right where you yeah. you know yeah um and then or compulsory where you like everybody does a smith vert and then everybody does a backside air and you know and to what degrees who does them higher farther better longer mm-hmm. etc that you know you could judge that kind of thing there you yeah. go. to some degree yeah but you know it's like what well, you want to see nyjah and you want to see grant taylor yeah okay both are undeniably j- just talented fuckers unbelievable <laughs> yeah but I, so different. How do you compare? How could you? Yeah. Yeah. You can't. It's not possible. Right. So I just, I don't know how. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. I, I would like to go. Like, it's in Japan. So yeah. I might, I'm going to try to line something up to go mm-hmm. and be there, you know? Yeah. Because it's historical, regardless. Regardless of what your thoughts are on it. That's it's true. It's historical. That's yeah. true. And so being as skateboarding is our fucking lives. Mm-hmm. It's a historical moment within skateboarding. Never even, yeah. That's great. I never thought about that. Yeah. Historical moment. It's yeah. true. It it's is, true. it is, because whoever that skateboarding be in the fucking Olympics, seriously, like, no. and, and drug test, like, oh yeah, oh man, oh come wow, scandal. come on, <laughs> like this, really, yeah, like, scandal. I want to see some scandal. Well, people were yeah. like, well, wasn't there tryouts or something to get in there already? Or oh, I, don't I don't know, know. what. But the, I remember a friend of mine was telling me he's like, dude, I can't smoke for a couple like a couple months because they got to get out. Yeah, to get, it, it takes a long time to get out of your system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, I've never heard. It's of not even a performing enhancing drug. I don't know whether people are polar opposite. Yeah, <laughs> perform enhancing drug. It's like you know, yeah, some people, uh, some people. Well, there's, perform there's, well on it though. You know, sure. that's a, you know, there's, they need it to a, perform anxiety. well on it as well. Yeah, yeah, it helps with a lot of anxiety and yeah. issues of that nature for sure. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you one little thing. Uh, yes, sir. Going back to Powell. Yes. What were your thoughts on Bonite when it came out? Well, when it, we didn't know what the fuck it was, yeah. right, when it came out. Um, because they had done all these tests. It was interesting. They actually had this machine that that dropped this massive amount of weight um, onto onto the board. But it dropped uh, horizontally, mm-hmm. right? Oh. And it just dropped. They dropped in the center of the board. It was this huge fucking weight. It was amazing. It's it's almost, almost like a, a guillotine. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, a focus machine. But it was like a guillotine to some degree. Like, that's what it kind of looked like. And so they would drop it on. It was, it was super strong, like whatever the grain was where, you know, in that direction. Mm-hmm. Oh. I had never broken a board in my life ever until Bonite came out. And I did it at a demo. And I think it was in Jersey. And I broke it vertically. Oh. Nose to tail. And it was so strange. Right down the center too, right. It That's was, a trip. It was bizarre. So they tested it yeah, horizontally. They didn't test it. Test whatever the the oh. you know it's like carbon paper. Yeah. In in vertically. Mm-hmm. So they just thought, oh, this stuff is super strong, right? So bonite was uh, wood with with layers in yeah, between. It was like some okay. weird it was like crazy paper. Yeah. yeah, it was like yeah. paper. But I don't I don't know what it was. It was like carbon paper. I mean, yeah. it really was. It was just huh. really strange. And if it got wet, it just D- total deal. Yeah. 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 It was uh, it wasn't the best move. No, yeah, mm. not at all. Did I mean, it, I, like it, I said, I've never broken a board until Bonite came out. It was it was bizarre, huh. and it's vertical. Other people talked about splitting them vertical too. Splitting them vertical. Yeah. Have you so ever weird. done that on a skateboard? Never. Yeah, oh, exactly. No. So. <laughs> That's, yeah, Great. they didn't do enough R and D on that I one. I guess boy. not, huh? QC, QC. The, QC. Like, what's the, <laughs> the guillotine like, didn't really work. Yeah, yeah. So everyone was pretty pissed about Bonite. So would you, did they make you other boards, or or was that just one one off boards that they made, or was that no, their whole no, run no? We did Bonite. Yeah, there was a shit. It was like that thing for that a while. Was, yeah, it was like oh. Bonite XT, like you know, yeah. extra strong, extra tough, or whatever. Yeah. Right? Okay. Extra tough. Um, so. I think it was just a failure, you know. I mm. think that they had to sell through. I, we still wrote them. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't. I, I remember writing them. Like whatever. Yeah. You, know, you got them free. You're like, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and because they had to probably just still, you know, get them out there, promote them. We're writing them, so you should write them. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't know about the vert guys. Like, I don't know if they broke them or how they felt mm-hmm. about it. Um, but you know, street, it just reacted in a whole different way. Because, like you said, you get wet or anything. You know, you get yeah. your tail wears down. Right. Yep. It's getting street and it just starts to delam and it oh. gets wet and. Yeah, it's weird. It was, it was odd. Do you yeah. ever skate Bonite, Raj? You ever Bonite boards? Uh, I might have had one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then let me ask you something about yes, like um, uh, you know you, the music and what you do because you were t- you said before too that you you, you kind of DIY it. Yeah. Right. So yes. you're, you're in the studio and um, you, I mean you're writing your songs by your just how do you go about like coming up with uh, your songs and stuff like that and then recording them. Uh, or do you just jam? I just turn on the then, creative genius button. Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> you, you don't yeah. have to flip the switch. Oh, I can. Yeah. I can relate to the creative <laughs> genius button. Yes. Yes. Well, it, it all it all started like I said back from the getting the four track and all that. But mm-hmm. what what it happened in the early '90s? I started. I, 
I broke my ankle uh, oh. in the early 90s when we went to Spain with Rio on first first Rio tour abroad. They we took him to the hospital, got actually yeah, your ankle's broken. They didn't they were like, "Well, we can't do anything for you in the sense of like we're not going to give you a cast or anything. It might swell whatever." So they you know, just kind of wrapped it. And I was like, "Okay." Whoa. And then they and then and then what's interesting is like you had to go to um another uh place to get crutches to like a um what is like a uh, you had to walk there like yeah. a little, like a little st- like pharmacy store yeah yeah thing. yeah yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And, um so i had to go buy crutches so i had someone with me helping me like a distributor or something so i'm limping around and i and i got crutches then i had to went back to the hotel i had no painkillers of any sort oh my and so i just emptied the mini bar okay <laughs> <laughs> Jack Daniels and, and, sounds uh, legit. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, emptied that thing, and then what was fucked up is I had to, you know, I flew back on my own, and I had to fly to London first overnight to catch another flight. Oh, so at that point man. in time, it had shifted, and so then I, I went and had the surgery. I still have the uh, pin and seven plates in my ankle. Seven plates, oh, damn. seven pins in a plate. Oh, oh seven oh, pins. Sorry. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry, I'm half asleep. No, you're good. You're Tony good. Hawk party wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> so. It took a while to heal. Like I couldn't do certain um, uh, uh, physical therapy because of the metal in there, like the oh. you know electrostimulation, and so oh, I couldn't God. do any of that. And so I was out for a while. So I just started focusing more on music. And at that point in time, like in the, in the eighties, I was really into hip hop and in, in the early nineties. And so I started making beats for friends. I had a couple friends who were rappers, and so I was like messing around with beats, making oh, wow. beats on this archaic ass sampler. And I played bass over it and whatever else. Okay. And so I was making beats, but nothing ever happened with these guys because, you know, I don't know, rappers, whatever. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> these Maybe these guys, it just didn't work out. Okay. With I've had several, actually. Huh. So I had these instrumental beats, and I was like, well, what am I going to do? And so they needed a voice, and so I'm not a singer. And so I was like, oh, well, at that time, I was listening to a lot of jazz and stuff like Grant Green and, and the and uh, you know, these amazing guitar players and mm-hmm. a lot of Santana. And, oh, yeah. And um, I was like, oh, I just, you know, the guitar will be the voice. So I just started making these little melodies over these, over these, over this stuff. So I had all these songs. So then when I was doing the '40s video, you know, I was I filmed everything and was make putting this video together. I needed music, so I created all the music okay. for it. So once that came out, some people heard it and like, oh, um, and were stoked on the music and like, how can we get this music? I was like, what? Like, what are you, like, what are you talking yeah. about? Like, it was never meant for consumption in that way. Right. It was. It was to accompany the video. Yes. Um. And so Thomas Campbell's really into it, and these cats who worked at Moax were really into it, and then they kind of slept on it, so Thomas wanted to put it out. So we went in half of the cost of putting this album out, but it was a different cover. You know? Okay, it's, what was it called? Is, I can't see the... Uh, Loose Grooves and Bastard Blues. Okay. So that's actually twenty over 20 years old now. Wow. It, it was a 20-year anniversary just recently. Okay. Anyway, so Thomas, me and Thomas put it on his little label, Galaxy, and his partner, Greg, and it just kind of went from there. Like, I, it was never intended to be... Um, for release, you know, okay. um, as a as a product, you kind of release the soundtrack of yeah, the '40s parts video parts yeah. of it, and then I and then I added to it, you <clears throat> okay. know, bec- um, because there were certain certain things I didn't feel stylistically that that were, oh. you know, that fit. Um, so I created a few more songs, and then yeah, and just put it out there, and it took on a life of its own, you know. I love it. This is interesting. So, so yeah, so I just I when I when I sit down, you know, I I usually start with like. A, put down some drums mm-hmm. you know and then okay. i come up with a bass line everything's very spur of the moment like in that moment like i don't do you know a lot of people make demos and scratch you know i don't do any of that no shit. no it's just get in and go oh. um and so and so i lay something down and i go and a lot of times you just go with your gut like okay. what feels right oh that sounds good cool whatever i'm not trying to make masterpieces that's not my approach <laughs> you know um so um it's just it's it's out of necessity to cr- be creative yes that's how it is it all came about i just okay. need in some way right get yeah. it out so um i'll just lay i'll lay down a drum a drum track mm-hmm. or some percussion of some sort and then i'll usually add bass and then i'll add guitar and different and various elements like I'm, I'm working on some new stuff right now that's just really kind of in the same vein of my first record where it's just very in the moment go with it and that's what it is so i'm i'm you know so it's it's like i got my little Wurlitzer and i have you know my too many guitars okay. <laughs> and uh, and drum machines and old drum machines, 60s drum machines and all just, you know, and different wow. things. And I just use different mediums at different points in time. Okay. And, you know, I'm inspired by sound that I hear a sound. I'm like, oh, that's a really cool sound, mm. you know, and it'll just trigger an idea for a song. OK. Um, mm-hmm. And then and then, you know, certain music that I've been listening to lately is more like um, 
uh, they call it soul jazz or, or, or they call it spiritual jazz and oh. then also like uh, Ethiopian jazz um, and, and just stuff that's um, way more um, uh, contemplative. Like it, it, it's like uh, the repetition and, and the monotony oh. and, and, it, and these things build and grow and undulate and, oh. and harmonically they do different things and then melodically they shift but the but the foundation doesn't shift and okay so it's like this this kind of churning and this motion and, and it's just it's something and it's it's it puts you in a different space yeah. yeah you know it's not like parts and it's not like vocals and it's not like this thought out idea it's it's more letting your mind wander with it okay and, and there's no destination it's the journey yeah you know and that and that's kind of where i've been at for a while now um i really appreciate that approach more like when i play live it's never the same you know there's parts and there's you know oh some i then there's ideas of course there's mm -hmm. parts and there's melodies but no there's no form it's not set nothing is nothing is static it's all up for interpretation at that point in time but when you're playing live yeah. You have the drummer, you have the yeah. band. And so yeah. if you're so, switching it up, how do, I mean, no, they no. have to be on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have to be on point to, <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, they to follow. Always, oh, they're always like, fucking Tommy. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah, because I, I will like, you're supposed Whatever to change. Whatever you're feeling. You're supposed to change there. I'm like, mm -hmm. nah, I'm not changing there. No, this, they, they got to watch. You know, they, these guys are heavy musicians. Okay. And that's why they're with me. Chuck Treese is one of the best musicians, hands down, I've ever come across. Really? Yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah. Phenomenal. Like and it, he'll play any instrument better than any anyone, <laughs> no joke. So he's you know we've been playing together so long, so he okay. knows he's like there's no like we're just going we're gonna see what's gonna, gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. And so and so everyone just watches me and I just oh. cue him for the changes that or the or the ends or whatever or sometimes it falls apart. That <laughs> and <laughs> it's just, just like, kind of like there, is. there it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Totally. Right. Totally. Because it's in the moment and mm -hmm. that's how I like it to be. I want I want um, everyone to kind of see what's going on and feel it and go feel oh it. this is like. It's not the same. It's yes. never going to be the same. Wow. So that's what, that's what's fun. It keeps it fun for us. There you go. Because it has to. Otherwise, I don't see how people go about flogging that fucking same horse to death. Just like <laughs> I'm playing the same chords and right. the same song over and over and over every single night forever. Yeah, but you look at these people who you know? play like yeah, huge stadiums yeah, yeah. and they, yeah. they, 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 the, the fans want to hear totally. that song. They don't want to hear a variation of that song. Totally. You know? and, and that's totally fine. But yeah. I don't do that. No. I'm not, it's not, it doesn't interest me whatsoever. Okay. As, as, like I said, I approach it more as a, a creative yes. vehicle. Right. I'm not like, I'm a guitar player. It's like, eh, I Here's don't, my I song. Don't, I don't think of yeah. myself that way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like that though. Yeah. I like the, in the moment, feeling the vibe and uh, doing, yeah. doing what you feel is right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, it, I've always done that. It's the same thing with skating, you know, uh -huh. like. I, I, it, there's a sense of fluidity and, yeah. and, and um, it has to come natural and feel right. Otherwise, it's like, and when you force it, like I learned, I remember like we're sitting in the parking lot learning 360 flips, you know, when they first came around, yeah. I was like, no, flip, flip, you know, and you're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't appeal to me. No, you know, like really? at that time, nah, I just, I did it and I was like, eh, I don't know. Rodney didn't show you how to do it? No, it was, we were on, we were on a trip somewhere and, and we were in a parking lot and it might, might have been raining because we we're in a, you know, a underground lot. Mm. And I remember just, we we're just hucking them and just trying them. Like, it's like, okay. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. And impossibles, you know, like, you're like, oh, I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. Right. Yeah. Cause at that point in time, no one was like doing them, That's, you know, like right. skating and like really doing them at, at speed and yeah, with yeah. fluidity. Mm -hmm. And it was like, and you're like, spastic. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Like, it did not appeal to me. This is random. I feel like so. I should know this, but who did the first 360 flip that was, like, documented? Good question. You should know that. I know, right? I'd imagine it'd be Rodney. I would I guess. I would I guess, too. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. I've never even thought of that. I don't know why, but... He, Rodney's responsible for a lot yeah. of... Yeah, yeah. A lot of shit. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Completely. For everything, yeah. kind of. Within street skating. And then Jason sure. Lee and, yeah. like, Javante made him look good. Yeah. 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 Jay yeah. Lee, like, took him to the next yeah. level. Right. Well, if you yeah. ever need a, a lead vocalist, I'm, I'm, I think I'm your man. You have some vocal styling? I, have, oh. I got some vocals. Okay. Yes. I'll uh, send you my demo. So, yeah, please yes. submit a demo. That'd be good. Oh, wow. and, I'll, and I'll file it in my trash can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, immediately. <laughs> oh, well, I won't sign it then. It's awesome. <laughs> no. Has there been kidding. any I, skaters that skated your songs? Oh. Uh, the people, uh, there's, in the new Purple, 
purple oh, the video new purple. They, they, they licensed the track and okay. uh it's um, what you get there's that? some other videos uh <laughs> got a good got a good little amount no no i got a yeah i got a little money okay, there's, good. i have a lawyer and he deals oh, you with do? It. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah yeah i don't okay. I, I don't fuck okay. i don't fuck around well you also because i get hit from so many angles like oh do you yeah oh yeah like the surf community the arts community kids and school projects I, oh, wow. I get hit from so many angles and there are times when i uh, i do a gratis license you know okay. to to allow you know people who are you know college uh, kids working on a project on a video project and they need music for it and it's not for consumption it's okay. not it's not um uh, for a product it's right. not commercial release Ooh. and i'm like okay that's cool but it, it's hard because there are times when people hit me up and and it's like, ah, you know, this is, you don't that, that's the, it's the only way you make any money off of music. Yeah. That's it. Licensing. Licensing. Number, 100%. Right. And so it's, it's difficult because if you put yourself, you set a precedent where your music is free yeah. or it's cheap, mm -hmm. then that's it. That's yeah. it. Right. You know, can't, 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 can't you, climb out of yeah, it. Yeah. It's very yeah. difficult. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, but you know, you give deals to certain people and yeah. then when the big ones come along, you're like, you're going to pay you know what you're gonna pay totally if, if you want it right see if uh mark you know, wiley can get you an apple ad yeah i know i've, oh. I've been trying some of uh, my buddy jamie riley used to work there he he was trying that oh, too wow. I was like, that'd be amazing oh, yeah that's some good cash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, every, some, that's some good cash yeah every hour is had like one of those commercials is blowing up yeah i know yeah. that's crazy yeah. is there stuff that you are like people want to do and you're just like oh, no, i don't really know if i, I want I've, my stuff I've out there a, like, a while ago when it was uh, on a pepsi commercial and it was uh jeff mcfetrich was doing the the uh, visuals for it you know mm -hmm. the design and it was pepsi one and they had you know whatever their budget was they they said this is how much we have this is our budget and at that time it was it was one from one of these records and mm -hmm. what happens is you split it like you split i own the publishing but then mm -hmm. you split the master so the comp label gets half okay you get half right and then it's it's you get 1099 right because you're yeah freelancers you know yeah and so you have to pay taxes on it so at that point in time it was like at the end of the day, I think it was like maybe I would have gotten seven thousand dollars or something, okay, you know, around there. And then associated with a Pepsi one, exactly. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, that's not enough money, money, money to be associated with fucking Pepsi. Okay. You know? To be honest, you know, at right. that point in time, this was when there was still <laughs> that people actually sold some records and mm -hmm. people bought music and so forth, and so you could have that flexibility yes. to to say no. Right. Now it's like anyone who gets any license, like, yep, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For, you know. Stay free mini pads, you know, <laughs> you're like, I'm, you're like, I'm in hundred percent. Cut the check. Let's get it. <laughs> you know, it's a crazy world. This, this it, music world, man. Well, you know? it's, it's, I, I feel for the, I feel for artists like, you know, friends of mine who are just phenomenal musicians mm -hmm. and, and you're just like, fuck, these guys work bar at bars and they work day jobs. Crazy. And it's like, it, it's heartbreaking. Wow. You know, what, wasn't your music in uh, EA Skate too? Did yeah, they yeah, they, yeah. They, they actually did a, kind of a buyout thing where I created X amount of music for X amount. Oh, so of money you created music exclusively yeah. for them? Yeah, That's sick. wow. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. That yeah. was fun. Um, that was that was cool. I did a, a library thing for a label in New York where we created like thirty two minute tunes or something. Oh wow! Um, and we did a licensing thing with them, and they okay. and they go out there and they license it and stuff. How come so, Tony Hawk never did anything? Tony Hawk's pro skater. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, uh, Hawk? No, no, he uh, maybe he did. Oh yeah, I can't, uh, maybe. Okay, I can't remember. He, they actually they might have they might have um, yeah. licensed one tune. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, DC licensed the tune for one of for one of the videos. Oh, sick. Yeah, a while back and. Um, you know, early early on, like the first uh, stereo videos, I did some tunes okay. with Matt Rodriguez's part, and I think another t another tune in there, and yeah, it's it, it's cool to work with with skate companies. I love it. You I know? was gonna I, say it's rad. Yeah, there's there are some some people uh -oh. <laughs> who go about you know they edit to your shit and then they just use it and then, then they tell you after the fact and, yeah. or they ask after uh, the fact and you're like oh right <laughs> they just assumed hey Tommy Guerrero he's totally, he's uh, cool. skateboarding T totally he's gonna say yes yeah, totally right. and, it, and it's you know it's uh, then you look like a dick if you sue him totally <laughs> and I'm, I would never you know I'm not gonna sue it, fucking any skaters right. you know, that's never I'm not doing that but I, it's just disrespectful yeah yeah, yeah. you know and, yeah. and that's what I feel it's, it's as though you have to remember it's 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 
what I do totally. for a living. It is still a product, mm -hmm. and you would not go into a store and take a pair of shoes and just walk the fuck out. Some people mm -hmm. do. You know. They get arrested, though. Well, yeah. If they well, get caught, yeah. Yeah, if they get caught. <laughs> and, I, and the dude got caught. And I was like, right, yo. Right, right, right. It's skateboarding, dude. It's I such want a reparations, small... motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I know. It just, it's, a, it's just like, mm, yeah, can you just ask? Yeah. Can, you know, work it out. Right. Are there any skateboarders or musicians that are, like, hitting you up for advice or anything like that? or? Um. No, not so much. But early on, like Ray Barbie, like I helped him out, like uh. with his first record and stuff. He sent me some stuff. What do you think of this? One thing that you know, and I give him a few, a bit of my okay two cents. Yeah, wow, which, cool. which is worth one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, taxes. Yeah. What about like Ben Harper or anything? Do you ever uh, we, want to jam it, with him? It's funny. Somebody or? tagged on Instagram like, "You got to do a record with Tommy," and I'm like, "What's up, Ben?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he would probably be he's so phenomenal. down. Yeah, yeah he loves he's awesome, skateboarding. Dude. Yeah, no, Ben's he's, fucking rad. Yeah, he's a phenomenal musician too. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it'd be I, I could see like him and Ray Barbie and yeah. Chuck. And, I mean, like and you and yeah, that would be amazing. You guys should just do get together and do fun. an album. Yeah, he's busy. Well, he, he's a bad. real musician. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, yeah. he has time to do uh, laser heels, so he's yeah. time. Well, to, he has time to. Uh, it, that's the break time in the studio. That's I would amazing. love to see it, though. I think you guys would be, be a great little. Uh, be sick. Thing. It'd be fun. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to do like um, like a skater, all skater album. You That'd know, be like, sick. Like have a, a compilation or something. Would you have a little line on it? Come on, man! Really? Like I don't know. It's, He's he really is into skating, right? Yeah. Like I know you guys it's, had him on here. I've seen some of it. He's like, really into it, right? Yeah. Super into, into it. it. Cool. That's rad. Yeah. If he wants to spit over something, oh, there you go. I'm down. Yeah. There you go. Of course. Do you yeah. ever get nervous and stuff before you perform? Sometimes. Or? Yeah. 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 Sometimes. Um, it it just kind of it depends. It's strange. Mm. You ever like yeah. do you do like do you like have a beer before? Or is it... Yeah. I usually, I try to like mm. loosen yeah. up a little bit, have mm -hmm. a beer or two, just like take off, take the edge off for sure. Yeah. You're used to crowds though, skating yeah, contests it, and demos. It is. It's 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 a yeah. little different. Yeah. But but it but it's very it's similar. Right. So you got eyes watching once, you. Once you're in it, you're like ah whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's on. It takes, yeah. Yeah. It's it's <clears> on. But um being stared at by a lot of people oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. trust me is, is really hard yeah yeah you know i'm that i'm I, I don't do anything that i've ever done for that reason you know it's like i want less people staring at me please well right. it sounds like when you're making the music or playing the music you're like fully in the zone you're not even thinking oh like, that's that's what you're yeah yeah that's like once you get into that state that's where you want to be yeah, yeah. i'm out yeah. <laughs> yeah. but later well yeah. listen man this has been incredible thanks yeah, incredible I'm, I'm stoked we made it happen yeah. yeah yeah no definitely definitely awesome. i'm um, glad you guys had time sorry moms oh yeah what a jerk it's all good it's yeah. all good it's all good we're all gonna right. go hang yeah. out with them after sure. text. Yeah. Yeah. should i buy him some flowers should i send him some flowers that's good <laughs> well, i'll give you the, i'll give you my address after the show yeah, yeah. Send it, yeah. yeah. I'll do put that. it on the powell card yeah they'll, 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 <laughs> yeah put it on the powell card <laughs> that'd be great they're gonna be made of bonite though okay well they're cheap you know hey do what you want to do but uh, no, seriously, dude, um, congrats on all the music success Thanks. and all that stuff. And Deluxe, you guys are killing it. You guys are doing, I mean, you've built something really special over there. It's amazing. You, yeah. You, you do a lot Jim for skateboarding. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank Thanks. You, yeah. yeah. It's Jim, you know. And you, Jim, listen, Jim, man, Jim you too, bro. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bring back 40s. Yeah, I've been told that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, many people. Why did you do that? Do you own the rights or is <sighs> yeah, it? Yeah, uh, I could do yeah? it. Yeah, I could do it. It's, I mean, all this stuff coming back There's now. no good like skate clothing brands right now. I just, uh, I have. A lot of work? No, no. No? I don't want to, I don't want to make them in China, you know? Oh. Mm -hmm. Cost effective. Everything's made in China, right? Yeah, Especially yeah. clothing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. No. I'd want to make them in the States. They, they were made in San Francisco. Yeah. You know? Oh, they were? Yeah. I would take the fabric, the huge bolts of fabric in the van and drop it off. And, and, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Everything was DIY. Wow. <laughs> no joke. That's sick. Yeah. So I, I don't, if I can't make it in the States the way I want to, and if you make it in the States, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. And, and I, I'm just trying to make a pair of jeans that, yeah. that are right. decent. You know, like, <laughs> Who's paying seventy dollars for a pair of skateboard jeans or whatever? I don't know. Uh, Sell Barbara. Right? Yeah, you, you'd I, be surprised though. I, yeah, all this I old stuff coming back, people yeah. love it. But I don't. You know? I wouldn't. I you know I don't want to milk it or anything. You know, no, I, I wouldn't want to do that. You know, I I'm not. I, yeah, I, I, there's an aspect of me that would like to do it. Yeah, you know, but then the reality of of what it takes and to make it happen, right? Um, and to make it good. Mm -hmm. that's a lot yeah, yeah. it's hard but now with social media. and it's expensive i mean you know it's it's costly that's it's true costly endeavor but with social media you can let people know why this is expensive you can 
kind of show the process and mm. you know it, no it's it's true but I, I tend to think that people a lot of people you get used to paying x amount for something you're not going to yeah. pay. You're like, I used to pay forty dollars for this. Now it's eighty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like I'm not really into that. That's why you I just mean, come out with like a hundred dollar. Yeah, then you got to go. You, you got to start way. high, and, and you just get yeah. it into like Supreme, and right. you know whatever. Yep. And yeah. then you go the other way, and it's yep. like, I'm a dirty skateboarder. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yep. You know, I, I wore. I just changed my jeans for the first time since 2016 December. I never washed them, and I never yeah, taken right. them off. What? Yeah, you didn't. Same you wash your jeans? Ne never. That's awesome. I did not wash them. <laughs> They're the raw denim Levi's that they give you, and I put you them just on for breezing every day. No, no I, I, do, I do nothing. Say... I do nothing. They get dirty. And I, they, I did hear rumors I, that you stunk for a and while. And, but <laughs> yeah. this is, uh, and before that, and before that was a year over a year too. But you would wear different jeans, or you no. wear you rock the same. Yes. What, what made you switch? Even skating and doing uh, it sweating? Because, and because they had a, I got a bunch of paint on them. Oh. And, and when I was, I was, me and my son were doing something. And I got a bunch of paint on them and I wore them and wore them. And I was like, but I don't want to, I'm like, I'm not an art kook. Like, I get splattered. <laughs> yeah, I, look at me. I'm fucking. Tommy Grills are painter yeah, now. Yeah. You know? I'm genius. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I am, you know, done. I'm not, I don't want that look. Oh, that makes sense. So, Crazy. so yeah. So we'll see how long these last. Two years you wore them. A year and whatever, a half. Okay. December 2016, because I gave the ones I was wearing away. I was like, okay, I'm done with these. And I put, I had one pair with me and I put them on. That was Whoa. it. You can ask my girlfriend. She can corroborate the story. God, at least yeah. you don't have to spend money on clothes. I don't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the same I'm, I'm shit. grateful. Levi's sends me you know, a pair of pants and I told them, I go, I have been wearing the last pair of pants for X amount of time. They're like, really? I'm like, <laughs> unwashed. They're like, really? I'm like, really? Because the other one started to get threadbare, and I hate, it's like, oh, the, I'm, the, yeah. I, I'm not doing that. No. Nah, I'm not doing that. Just exaggerate it, and it's a in, whole style. Holes in the jeans yeah. and the knee, yeah. you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it. Yeah. Maybe Diesel so. will send you some jeans. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, uh, was it tough to get used to a new pair of jeans? It sucks, because they're, the, they're ones that, that are unwashed, they're the raw denim, so you're like... Oh, See, now, I they're, would think they're, they're that hard. washing them over and over again would... would when you wash them. Look, but, but you got to yeah, yeah, wear your <laughs> thing for two years. So you got to wear them to break them in, yeah. Yeah, but if you wash them, you'll break them in quicker, no? And they shrink, too. They shrink. Yeah. That's the problem. Jeez. The jeans are a sketchy one to watch because you are a wash. You're, you're not going to get the same result once you no, wash no, them. It, no, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, and I hate, like, the really faded look. I oh, yeah. Hate <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Learning all kinds of stuff about Tommy Good. Yeah. He's a painter now. Yeah. He's uh, I'm running a, back 40s. I'm an uh, All these great things, yeah. you know? Yeah, I'm making it happen. <laughs> making moves. Yeah. I'm be stacking shit. No, man. Continued success. Keep doing what Thanks. you're doing. We love it. And, um... Thank you for uh, reimbursing us for the, the <laughs> albums that Raj went and bought on our uh, Nine Club credit card. Yeah. You okay. Know, putting, us, putting us in the hole. Thanks, yeah. Raj. Yeah, just let's keep checking the mailbox for that check. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs>